our sex play is we talk in Tuscan to each other. <laughs> True. <laughs> Hey, I'm Marcus. And I'm Nick. We are Working Class Nerds. Cue the intro. That's right, we are Working Class Nerds, the podcast that gives you no information about your favorite information. Today is Thursday, February 17th, 2022, and you can find this Game Update 6.5 podcast on Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and anywhere you can find a podcast in the galaxy far, far away. You can also watch me terribly fail at video games Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at twitch.tv slash MarcusB814. You can find me every single Monday night at twitch.tv slash NickVern51. And you can find the both of us on Twitter. I'm at MarcusB814. I'm at NickVern. That's N-I-C-K-V-E-R-N. And this week's episode, we've been overrun with kitty litter. The kitties have invaded the show. There are cat <laughs> toys everywhere and hocked up fur balls all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, welcome back, Kitty Kisses, and welcome to the show, Kitty Treats. Uh, so happy you're both here, and what have you been up to? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to kick a fur ball out of the way. <laughs> I just uh, so Treats, what have you been up to? Oh gosh, lots and lots of fun stuff. Well, I actually, I did write some notes, so I just want to go through this so I don't forget, but... Sure. My first, my first ever playthrough, like, like full seventy, like did all the chapters, all the story was on a Jedi Shadow, but I don't know. Like I thought that my favorite class was Sentinel. Like I've been, I love, 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 love it. Like it's super mm-hmm. active. But then, I don't know. I can't remember what what made us pick Jedi Shadow for me. I don't know. I don't know what the why we picked that. Do you remember, Kitty? Why we? Yeah, picked I think that? it was you wanted to try something different. And shadow is very different. It's super different. So like, I normally don't like stealth characters at all. Like I played world of Warcraft for years and I tried rogues, all different, all different specs. Didn't like them. But now like I played through everything on the Jedi shadow. I'm like obsessed with it. Like it's like super fun. I think, I think it might be the main character that I play through the 7.0 story. So I'm like super Um, excited about it. Yeah. You know what I love about the shadow? The that? spinny move. The spinny move is awesome. Yeah, that's see, funny. Yeah, like, every time, every time I did it, I would just scream that at the top of my lungs. Spinny move. Is that what? You, yeah, like every time. It, I have it, my own too. Well, what did you, you know, say, babe? Twist and flick. Twist yeah. and flick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you know what's funny about the shadow is that I didn't know until I was on Tatooine that I could go invisible. And I was just fighting everything because I'm a Mara main. And everybody's like, Marcus, you can go invisible. I have that move. They're like, are you kidding me? I have that move. And then I went invisible and I was like, oh, wow. My life got a lot easier. It's so fun. It's like super fun. It's super fun. Really versatile, too. Like you don't die that easily and you can just like cloak out of stuff if you start dying it's just it's super fun and the animations are awesome yeah i like the animations on those too the only thing that like when we were playing it at first like uh kitty and i were dual streaming it and he played a sentinel and i'm like i'll butt her a little bit because i love sentinels but i didn't want to play the same thing but then like he's like kicking ass you know as as a lower level tune and then my character kind of the the abilities come kind of slow like you don't get shadow stride until I forget what level you get it, but it's way, way later, like fifty or something yeah, like it's that. Way late, way late. And by the time you get it, you're like, oh my god! But then once you get it, you put it in your rotation. It's like super freaking fun. Like it's like, I don't know. It's just like 
you start it's learning natural. how to use it. Yeah, you start learning mm-hmm. how to use it in your rotation. They're like, all right, I got this. This is fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> I, I'm obsessed with it now. So I think that might be my new main. I didn't think it would be, though. I thought Sentinel was going to be it. But so I'm uh, obsessed see, with that. Just hearing the word Sentinel, I don't know what that means. I, like, oh, it doesn't Sentinel compute. is like, I think in definition, correct me if I'm wrong, it's like a a guard of some kind like you're you're like that the <laughs> ranger <Centurion>. almost <laughs> yeah. oh you Nick. mean the class <laughs> talking, yes, the class says, oh you my god water. hey everybody everybody we're out the podcast is over thank All you right. so much for coming on the show <laughs> thank you this everybody. has been wonderful yep see you later everybody. Cheers. have a good one <laughs> bye-bye wow oh. wow all right i'll put my big boy brain on now <laughs> wow your alpha brain? My alpha brain. Yeah. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. So you got a new main. What else yeah. you got going on? What else? What else? What else? Let's see. Oh, you know what? Like I this week it's so funny. We took I took off this what was it? Like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to do the 7.0 goodies. And I just learned that I got Monday off as well. So we get an extra day to game. Very nice. I'm super excited about that. That's something Love that, that just popped into my head. But yeah, I mean, it's it's like this dual streaming stuff has been super fun. So having an extra day, like, I and it. it's I like play, you're I in a Discord call here. with somebody. It's like mm-hmm. you're in a Discord call with somebody without being in Discord. You yeah. know what I mean? So like, mm-hmm. you have that banter back and forth. Yeah, yeah. It's super. And fun. I think you. I don't know if it was today or yesterday. You're like somebody was like, oh, it's like we have like five Saturdays in a row. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, that's what like, we, yeah. It was, I equated it to Groundhog's Day. Saturday, <laughs> yeah. five Saturdays in a row. It's great. <laughs> yeah, and then we get an extra day too. So I found out I was off work another day. I'm like, yes. Like we so wake like, up, do some morning stuff, and then we stream, eat, lay around, go to bed, rinse, repeat. It is the Fucking best. amazing. It's we don't have to hide the sex with it's fucking awesome. morning stuff. What do you want to know about the sex? Okay. Yeah, what go. do you want to know? Hit me. No. I mean, oh my god. Let's we go, don't you have pervert. To... Well, I've <laughs> been I've been Do you been know how it this... works, right? With a dick and a vagina, right? <laughs> yes. The key yeah. is to hot dog it. You don't yeah, actually well, go in. Well, right. you can do that too, but That's what Joey in middle school told me. So I mean, apparently, you know, it works. Why not try it? Oh my god. Well, yeah, we choke each other till we pass out and then whatever. Right. <laughs> but I've been called a cocksmith, so whatever. She is. Oh. She's a cocksmith. And a ballsmith, apparently. Yeah. She, she knows what she's doing down there. I love it. I'm this is my favorite thing. Oh, okay, can we circle back for one second? First of all, love the conversation. Totally right. fine with this. <clears throat> second, what is going to bother me unless I look it up? What does a cocksmith actually mean? There you go, oh, Kitty. I, I, I got to go. No, it's a real... No, it's a, it's a word for something else. Go ahead, right, Kitty. You, you're it. the one that... Well, my definition of a cocksmith? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because I think you can figure no. it out. No, I'm wrong. I, I'm thinking of something else. I'm I thinking am, of Cox Swain. I don't know what you've that got. Is. Cox on the brain the is what's is happening. That? He's Greek. <laughs> He's Greek. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, an officer. A cock swain is defined as an officer of a ship who takes care of the cock boat, barge, or shallop with all its furniture and is in readiness with his crew to man the boat on all occasions. So it's the That's same definition. That's not what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, has nothing to do with a boat, unless <laughs> you're speaking metaphorically. Basically, right. a coxswain is a cocksmith, but deals with more semen. Right. Because. And that's that was impressive. That, oh. <laughs> well, that's nothing. You guys have that's nothing. Oh, that's oh. the Chipotle engaging. That's it, right. It is activate. Chipotle engage. Activate I, the black beans have activated. <laughs> um, Go so, towards the light, Caroline. It's a food ghost. So treats. I know that you did, but I got to ask: How do you accidentally play something in vet mode? Uh, well, I don't know. To be honest, I was yeah. I was, <laughs> I was uh, doing the stories and we got to this one point, I forget what it was, but there were, I just kept dying over and over again. And my, my companions were being real stupid and, you know, getting my ass killed. But it was like, what the fuck is going on? I keep dying. 
And then Kitty's like, well, what's your uh, what's your chat like difficulty mode right now? And it was veteran. I have no idea. I'd been playing it like that for what the whole like I mean, the entire day. day. Yeah, yeah, like the whole day, maybe before that. I have wow. no idea. And but, we were what planet were we on? Onderon. Uh, uh, and mm, yeah, so I think anytime so. she was in an instance, it was in veteran mode. And I didn't even know that you could do that. Right. Me neither. <laughs> and I, I was you like, play fine story with content it. in different difficulties. <laughs> it yeah. Was fine. Like, it was totally fine until that one fight and I died. She's like, yeah, my companions keep getting their asses kicked. And I'm like, <laughs> what level are they? 50, she says. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. It took nope. us about 15 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> Because we're but, like, okay, try it again. Go, right. Leave the instance, come back in, and blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. But and then, I'm like, are you wearing yeah. gear? <laughs> yeah, I'm not naked. My character wasn't naked. Which, <sighs> But yeah, I, I switched it to story mode. Of course, it's a lot easier. And then I started doing you know, more of the story in story mode. And I'm like, wow, okay, this is a lot easier than right. what it has been. <laughs> But now she kicks ass yes, at her like, shadow. She is so good now. I'm like, this is fucking great. I'm like, I'm, I bet. Now I, you're you know, used to all the veteran. Right. Like now I got all the, you know, got my rotation down, which I love. I love rotations. That's one of my favorite things about gaming. So, yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. This is awesome. Made me like him even more. I've got, um, I've got 25K bits ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. Uh, That's oh, he's not going to get in trouble. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah. And then I can say, <laughs> and here's $250. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, yeah. So, what days do you stream Kitty Treats? So well, well, it's, I'm glad you brought that up. Because actually, I'm having to take a little bit of a break from solo streaming because at my place, my internet is too crappy to stream. It Mm. sucks. I can almost barely play the game because it's like 30 Mbps. It's shit. Yes, it's horrible. Yeah, but why? Well, uh, so my roommate, she owns, she's a homeowner, but she's also a housemate. Yeah, Um, kook. Uh When I... (laughs) When I first knew, you know, when I first was uh, setting up like the rental or whatever, she's like, yeah, the Internet's super fast. It's always worked great. You know, me and the other roommate, we work from home. We do Zoom meetings. It's awesome. And if it's ever not awesome, you know, I'll make it right. We'll get faster Internet. You'll be all you'll be good to go. And I told her, you know, yeah, because I online game, I stream, I do all this stuff. And she's like, yeah, you'll be fine. Well, if we need to up it, we will. So right when I moved in, it was like way too slow. I'm like, OK, we got to up it. We got up because yeah. I, I can't, I can't even game on this. And so then she tells me that she can't, because I suggested the fiber optic, you know, internet because it's super yeah. fast. Mm-hmm. I'm like hell yeah, you know, this the provider you have has this available. Let's do it. I'll pay, you know, extra whatever. But she says no, we can't do it because she can't have the increased uh, electromagnetic fields or whatever from the electricity. <laughs> Because she's allergic to electricity. Now, here's the kicker. So, what does she do for a job? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> so she's been going to this online boot camp for coding to be a coder <laughs> in the tech industry. <laughs> and like, like, oh, I, my God. I just How does this person own property? Right. And so I don't, it's like, I just was like staring at her and I'm so glad that like at the time I was wearing a mask because my face was like all crunched up. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you're going, like what the fuck? Like, wow. really? so yes. Do you so, have a lease? No, it's month all right, month. time to find a new fucking apartment. No, no shit. kidding. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. No shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Has really cheap Avengers boxes. Assemble. I know, like, so, yeah. yeah, that's where I'm at now. So I'm basically, I, I'm talking to her again about it. I'm giving her another chance because, you know, she's a super, super nice person. Aside from that weird thing, she is super nice. The other roommate there, he's super nice, too. So if it if we could work it out, that'd be awesome. So I don't have to move again, but we'll see. That's where I'm at, though. I'm just, I'm trying to make it work. So for now, the dual streams are awesome and we're just trying to do more of those mm-hmm. whenever we get the chance yeah, that means that just means i can save more bits 
until the day. True. Well, you know, but you you, know, you should be even if you're if you're spending the night at Kitty Kitty's house, mm-hmm. at least you can stream that night by yourself. True. Just pick one night a week that you're gonna that Kitty's going to bed at like three in the afternoon, and yeah, you, you would like stream. that, wouldn't hey, you? Hey, three thirty. <laughs> I've never met somebody in my life that goes to bed so early. He does go to bed really early. Like he goes, he he usually wants to go to sleep at like before seven. At seven is a, is a good time. We never usually do because we typically watch shows and stuff. But yeah, yep, mm-hmm. he's usually asleep by seven thirty for sure. Wow. Mm-hmm. Kisses. Out. What have Out. you been doing? <laughs> well, thank you for asking. Uh, for and thank you guys for having us back on or having of me course. back on. I feel like uh, I should be getting my mail here now. I've been on so much. <laughs> well, you know, what's so funny is that whenever I get messages, everybody, there's so many people, like everybody always has something to say about certain guests. Like mm-hmm. every time you come on, somebody is like, oh my God, the show is so fucking great. And it's hilarious <laughs> with, and he's on and it becomes like NC 17. Get and ready. I just laugh. Yeah, it goes from, yeah, right. from M to NC17. Get ready, because uh, I I've got something I want to share with everybody. But I'm going to tease that for right now and tell you other things that I've been doing. Okay. Um, that sounds fine as long as you say it later in the Martian Row voice. Oh, how does the Martian Row go? We'll oh, do it yes. later. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm just well, kidding. Do it later. And and right. just so for the record. The newest, the the final book in phase one that I just finished, mm-hmm. they changed Martian's name. So in all the other books, it was Martian. In in the third, in this third book, um, it's Markion. Is it just oh, the pronunciation, they, or yeah, they changed the pronunciation. It just weirds me out. Hmm. I think they did that one. The other ones, or maybe they no, there was no, some and some. no. Well, the new Johnny Depp movie is actually called uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So <laughs> kind of goes up instead of Caribbean. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so um, something really cool happened the other day um, is uh, Kymiri came into town and he has seen the beautiful Rooney, who is also a streamer. And so Kymiri, Rooney, Kitty Treats, Chill, and myself, we all went out for dinner. Wow. And it was really fun to just kind of sit around, shoot the shit and talk about, you know, all the stuff that we love, you know, that all of us love to to talk about. It was really, really cool. And it was kind of surreal. You know, right? Like, yeah, it really hey, was. Hey, there's Kymiri sitting right next to me. Hey, there's Rooney. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and is it it's it's that first like four or five minutes, you're just like in awe. Wow. The fuck? Yeah. I, I played yes. video games with this person and He's sitting in front of me or she's sitting in front of me. It's like, it's the weirdest thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you're it's a real cool, human. Though, I like it. It's, yes. It's makes it more real, but you know, these people, they feel like family. So it's just kind of like this weird family reunion. But yeah. Yeah. Y- 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 like you haven't seen them in a while. It's kind of how it feels, even though you've never met them before. I don't know. Right. It's so different. Well, and- go ahead that's kind of like the way it is with radio. When you see somebody that's on the radio and you only hear their voice or a podcast and you've never seen them act, their mouths actually form words. It's always like a weird little adjustment period. Same with voice actors. Whenever I, whenever we're like, Oh, who plays this character in SWOTOR? I always look it up and then I go to a video of them so I can see them talking because it's always kind of surreal for a moment to watch them actually you know, mm-hmm. form words and conjugate. And you're like, ah, they sound just like they do in person. Like they right. wouldn't. Right. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. Yeah, have you, okay. So uh quick sidebar, the main villain in uh, Halo Infinite is as this brute named Eshram. He's got, a Oh, right, right, beat. right. And that's voiced by Darren DePaul, who sounds nothing like that in real life. Right. Mm-hmm. Darren DePaul has that, he has an amazing voice and a very, yeah. very versatile voice. Yeah. So I could see him getting under, you know, fucking you up and not knowing it's him exactly. all the time. Whereas like John DiMaggio, you are like, ah, that's Bender. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's Bender. So, mm-hmm. But anyway, so that was really, really, really fun. And um, I think what was in- another thing that's kind of just like silly, but was interesting was that, um, 
watching them choose their food because mm-hmm. we went to a food pod. So there was like seven or eight different types of food all in one place and everybody chose different stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, all right. Kymiri is a ramen guy. Okay. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You like yeah. learn more about the people. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just interesting. It's, it's So you're, wait, are you saying you can tell a lot by a person by what they eat? No, no. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of interesting. I think you and can. I know I I completely understand that everybody is a human being and we're all real, but watching, you know, those folks eat <laughs> made them seem more real. Yeah, <laughs> if that even makes sense, you know what I mean. Well, like, I, oh I, yeah, I, and it, then surprise, spoiler alert: we're all going to take shits later because we ate the food. You know, uh-huh. because everybody's the same. Yeah, right. We all it's, take shits. It is. Yeah. It is funny. And awesome to meet somebody that you either see on camera or hear their voice on a podcast. Cause for years, Nick and I were just a voice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And then we started streaming and then, you know, it started to grow like that. And it's, it's a, like now we see each other, right? You see right, people right. stream. Yeah. And we said this the first time you came on kitty. It the, it's weird because on a stream you're talking one way. Correct. Right. You're mm-hmm. using your voice while I'm typing. Or somebody mm-hmm. else is yeah, exactly, typing. Exactly. And yeah. then that first time you actually get to have a conversation, like back and forth, the banter, it makes it real. And then when you finally meet them, like we went out to dinner with Kaimiri. Yep. And we were fairly close to us, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and it was like an hour or two hours of us just shooting the shit, talking about everything under the sun. Mm-hmm. Right. And it was fantastic. So yeah, I it's do great. It is it's super fun. Um I would love to. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that he he ends up moving over to the Pacific Me Northwest, too. and then we can all kind of kick it. What I what I really want to do, and now this is real nerdy, but I would <laughs> love for Kymiri Rooney, Chill Kitty Treats, and myself to come over and play Roll Top Star Wars in real life. Yes, and record mm. it. I think that would be super fun. Wait, what? What do you want to play? Roll Top Star Wars uh, tabletop role playing game. It's like D and D, but Star yeah, Wars. D and D, but Star Wars, cool. basically, right? Have you do, right. you do you like tabletop like miniature games? No, I don't use miniatures. Um, but I've been playing D and D since the seventies. Oh, okay. So, uh, it's it's in my blood. And yeah. here's a confession: talking about uh, not knowing what what Nick and what Marcus look like. Um, because I listened to your podcast before I knew who you were. Before right. we were friends, or before, you know, whatever, and I remember looking at Nick and going, "Holy shit, Nick's handsome! <laughs> <laughs> Nick's a pretty boy! Oh my god!" <laughs> and now well, every you, time, it's like when you have a sex with someone in a dream, and then you see that person in real life, you You're think like, that ha. they know that you know you know about oh. the dream. So every time right. I see Nick, I'm like, I gotta tell him what I how I feel. I gotta tell him <laughs> you gotta admit what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so how you know. been holding that thought in since We've... i since you've been doing the podcast oh wow I know, I know that i've said you're handsome before but i've never Probably. told you the story but i thought yeah that wow. funny i mean i was really funny. taken aback not that marcus isn't a looker in his own way but <laughs> i was like in I, his own it way, was like a, it was like, like a punch saying, in the face. There's somebody for you. I was like, "Holy shit, me. Nick is gorgeous." <laughs> but I think it's mostly the facial grooming. Uh, yes, you are very well groomed too. Yeah, yeah well, today in particular, I literally got a haircut like an hour before we started recording. So, well, thank nice. you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Just for you guys, I know you did. It's out. <laughs> Uh, um, Nancy, what else have I been doing? We um, Kitty Treats and myself started some new tunes for 7.0. Yeah. Uh, we both did Trooper, Merc Troopers. So I'm a Merc Sniper Trooper, and I've been loving it, having a lot of fun. They're really fun. Yeah. And then, what level are you? 30 something? 32? Oh, so you haven't gotten to the new stuff. 33, I think, is around what, we're, what we are. Yeah, something 33. like that. What new stuff? The new content. Yeah, I played through it on my main. Oh, okay. Everything except for the flashpoint. And I'm just like, I, I'll, I'll <laughs> get to it when I get to it. I want to do yeah. it on my own time. I haven't done any of it yet. I just wanted to. Oh, start shit. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, but yeah. Eh. 
we'll get there. I'm having fun. Yeah, our dual streams. It's a are lot kind of, of fun. Yeah. Dual streaming is my favorite thing it's, in the world. Dual streaming with Kitty Treats is my favorite thing. It's, it's, it's awesome. Great. We even have a craft services table. <laughs> craft. Yeah, I do know about this. Well, I know about the snack table. Yeah. yeah. Snack we have a snack mean, table. Like, craft have a sna- food company? No, no, no. Craft services is just a, a name for a food table. It's oh, like oh, a, mm-hmm. what they say in the movie. You know, like if they're shooting a movie, there's a craft services table. That just means the food table. So it has snacks got all it. over. Like, but we've got yeah snacks and we got healthy <laughs> foods. We got shit. And it's, it's mostly shit. Come on. Yeah. And once we crack <laughs> it, it's over. And we're just like, nom, 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 nom. yes, but it's yep. pretty fun. But, um, but when you're street, but honestly, but when you're streaming for eight hours, you need that fuel, like whether mm-hmm. it's just a, like yeah. chips or an apple or something like, and you don't like, you can't eat a sandwich on stream. Right. You know what I mean? Like, but it, like um, some nuts, like, like trail mix is my favorite stuff. thing in the world. That's good. You mm-hmm. know? Uh, so I do agree. It's nice to have the snack table. Yeah. And we got popcorn if we need it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good. Cause yeah. uh, love popcorn. kitty treats forgets to eat. I do. And so I have to go, <laughs> all right, did someone eat an apple? Do you want a snack? <laughs> I start spacing out and he's like handing me chunks of apple here here eat it and then all of a sudden she's like i feel so much better i'm like yeah you haven't eaten today there was a saying we kept saying it apple chunks babe i I just pointed to the table and i'm like apple chunks babe but uh so we have this thing in our relationship which works out really really well is that um she buys the food and I make the food. It's amazing. That sounds Which, ideal. It's I, fucking awesome. I hate, <laughs> hate, hate cooking and prepping food. I hate it. And he's good at it and likes it. I don't. I just, I've done it all my life. <laughs> so it's just like yeah. second it's nature. And I don't, yeah, I'm just like, whatever. I can I, do a mise en place in, in like I 10 minutes. Couldn't be happier mm. with that situation. I'm like, yes, I love tell me what to you cook. want. I love That's cooking. Amazing. I, I love a good mise en place. I mean, Listeners at home, if you don't know what that means, that's French for everything in, in its place, more or less. Yeah. It means like yeah. you, if you have ingredients for a dish or a recipe of some kind, you chop them all up and prepare everything, how they're just going to go into the dish and right. lay it all out before you start cooking anything. Yep. That way you're not trying to chop up a celery as the stew is cooking or whatever it is you're trying to make. I'm impressed that you know mise en place. That's great. Dude, <laughs> I got a. I, I know cooking things. I'm not a chef, but that's awesome. That's awesome. I got a culinary yeah. arts award I, in high school. Oh, listen, that's cool. I like to cook. I don't know what that is. I just cut it up as I go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. that's the thing about cooking is that you you could have a uh, a five star chef, and then you can have your grandma, and they oh, both yeah. kick ass. You know, yeah. all you have to do is know what you want to make and how to make it, and. It's all good. That's the way my mom is. <laughs> I made quite the purchase today. Ooh. Um, I bought a pellet Cooking grill. Related? A what? A pellet oh, grill. Like a Traeger type of thing, but not well, a Traeger? It's, it's, yeah, it's not a Traeger, but yes. Same. This one has Wi-Fi, so I can control everything from my phone. Jesus wow. Christ. Whoa. It has the interior temperature and all that shit. Well, because Nick, this spring, and I are going to be doing a real-life stream, a cooking contest. Yes. And I'm no. going to cook the most bomb steak on my pellet grill while he's doing whatever That's the hell he's awesome. done. So... we got to figure out how to get audio for that. We should pro- probably two Yetis or, or some like, larger lavaliers. Capacity no, mic. I, no, we're just going to wear like our um... headsets. Yeah, headsets with the microphone, you know, and yeah, have I that thing come Bluetooth in. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, you'll be able to track the sound. Right, that's it'll true. work. It's a couple of Bluetooth headsets, and then like mm-hmm. a, a wide angle camera or two, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna there get the go. Mevo, the Logitech Mevo. I've got it, you guys. What uh-huh. you guys are both gonna do is get some. Uh, what is it? The GoPro cameras with oh. the head strap on, and you guys are just gonna go. You know, blo- go about your day. Everything's gonna be caught. And then you're just going to throw it together. I could never do it because I'm so ADD that like, it'll be yep. like sudden movements all the time. No, no, I can't that's, no one will follow any of it. Yeah. They're going to be like, Bleh. Bleh. Marcus, yeah. slow down. Bleh. That's the thing about right. the, uh, the GoPros is that it doesn't, you can move really fast and it doesn't fuck the camera up. They're amazing. 
Huh. huh. That could be fun. They wear we just wear two GoPros on headbands. I feel like we need a wide angle lens for the whole setup though. Well, the and best, we're they put, are wide angle. Both, and we're, they come wide no, angle. Like, yeah. To be not like our POV. Oh, right, you know right, I mean? right, right, right. Oh, yeah. yeah one that's yeah. like the whole both grill mm-hmm. setup. And, and they then, look so dumb that it would be yeah. so hilarious. Like you'd yeah. look at each other and just go, ah, you look like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> it would be funny. Okay. Uh, having- another thing that we're doing for the stream is we are having our, we're having a fart contest on the stream. <laughs> Why? Well, I feel like from what I've experienced thus far, I know who the winner is going to be. No, I'm not participating. <laughs> no, it's not oh, us. It's Kitty community. Kitty myself or not. We, so on my um, stream deck, I have four fart sounders that I play throughout the stream and blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I was thinking to myself, I says, self, you need a new fart sound. And then I thought to myself and I said, self, you need to get <laughs> someone else involved in this. Let's do a fart contest. So yeah. right now we're doing a fart contest where <laughs> our viewers are sending in audio right. files of their farts. Oh, my God. We're I going to review them all. And then the winner is going to replace one of the fart sounders on my stream deck. Wow. And they will be fart fart of the show. Fart famous. <laughs> fart famous. Fart famous. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's happening. Now the details can all be found on our Twitter site. Just go onto Twitter, all that information will be there. Or in our Discord. So mm-hmm. if you feel like you want to participate and you think you got what it takes, <laughs> do it. Your farts are welcome. You can be anonymous if you'd like, or you can, you know, be loud and proud. What does the winner get? The winner gets to be on the show. Their fart is part of the show now. It goes on. What the are sound- you talking the about? Come it's going to be blasting every day, like oh, several right. times a day. And let's oh, be like honest. That, like... Some farts might, some farts get famous and it might be one of those farts. Mm-hmm. So, right. um, it's going to be great. I can't. What a fantastic idea! Well, um, thank you, Nick. I, okay, <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, oh my god, I just can't wait to like. You're gonna have to post when it's time to like do like when you're gonna play them review? all online. When you're gonna play them all on the stream because that could be the funniest thirty minutes of ever. I, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, I feel like I, I you want to like. It'd be cool to have like not celebrities, but like like Twitch community members submit stuff and then see not you, say until after the fart sounds played. Yeah, right. And see if you can guess like, whose fart it is. Yeah, you play it like all right. This next one is from the Twitch community. You will know them. <laughs> We're not telling you to after. Here we go. <laughs> or you're and gonna get one that's just like Nick from working class nerd. Uh, no, <laughs> or you're gonna get one that's just like. <laughs> that's probably the one i'd vote for Weep. yeah <laughs> Weep. so that's or what just... i've been up to nick how you guys nick yes it's a big week this week it is a big week this week i did a lot of things got a lot of things going on well oh so i finished the halo infinite campaign Yay! Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> uh i defeated esheram Voiced by Darren DePaul. Um, that was pretty awesome. I will say that was very solid. I got a little tired of all the Forerunner uh, architecture, if you will. I feel like the last like half of the story missions, in terms of time, is just you running through like the same sort of hallways and stuff. Mm. And if I may, if I may provide a grade, but um, it was interesting. It's obviously setting up a sequel, which is cool. Um, I thought the ending was very satisfying while still setting up a sequel. Mm. Um, I thought the characters ended up being pretty interesting, but overall it's a fairly shallow story. Um, but I feel like the game's sort of bread and butter is really the multiplayer and the, and the campaign is just a sort of a tack on at the end. Mm-hmm. But, um, I'm looking forward to playing my next game and I don't know what it's going to be yet. I have not decided. Mm-hmm. I'm leaning. I'm leaning one way or the other. I don't. I actually have to decide quickly. It's Thursday. I got to stream on Monday. Uh oh. Well, I know what I'm, I'm voting playing. for, but yeah, that's just my opinion. I know. Well, I, know, I think I know. I know what I'm gonna do because I can't do. So, ba- all right. Let me just chat about it. So, I was debating between Star Wars: Old Republic and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, but I, I mean Horizon, Horizon Forbidden, Forbidden West. West. 
but I can't. I'm not gonna be able to get a PS5 that quickly. Like I gotta, I gotta hook up for one, but I don't have the, you know, the cashola on hand because I'm gonna move into an apartment and, you know, soon. Right. I want to have. Like, yeah. I know the electric company requires a deposit first for whatever reason, and then like, you know, I gotta move in. Well, and and, yeah, time, you're gonna move in. Stuff, you're gonna, gonna be gonna buying extra this, shit for sure. And I'm gonna realize, oh, I don't have X, Y, and Z, and then the next thing I know, I spend two hundred dollars at the grocery store. Or whatever. I don't yep. have any oregano. That's the way it right. works. Something like that. So I'm not. I'm trying not to spend money just yet. So like in about a, a month ish, or three weeks or so, then I'll be like, okay, I can save up and spend the, you know, six seven hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So. Anyways, uh, I was playing a lot of Halo uh, multiplayer as well after stream. I played a little bit. And there's two different modes for ranked. There's open, which is um, you can play like that's where uh, they let you play cross platform. So in open format, you can have as many f- teammates as you want, like in your party. Like you can go in with a, it's 4v4 usually. You can go with a, with a full squad of four and that's fine in open. And then you can do solo slash duos, meaning like you can't have all four people. It's that it makes you like collaborate with other folks, and that is not cross platform. So usually I play open because I'll play with my friends, and mm-hmm. I have a rank for that. But for uh, I chose solo slash duos, and I was like, oh, I'll try it. Whatever, see what the difference is. But for the first ten games, you're unranked, and it puts you all over the place in rankings. Oh shit! Uh, so like you can play with really good players, you can play with terrible players, and it's kind of a mishmash. Well, it's to help you find your spot, right? So one of the, f- I think it was the f- second game I played when I was unranked out of the 10, I got ranked put in like a lobby of mostly like the top, top, top tier people. So like I'm like an average player. So the, the rankings, there's uh, six categories in each medal. Um, gold and platinum are the two middle ones, if you will, for like uh, on, on the bell curve. Platinum's the upper side, gold's like the lower side. So I'm like... The high gold, low platinum. I just hit platinum one. So I'm exactly in the middle of the bell curve. I'm perfectly average at Halo. Well, I got picked top ranked with this. It was like mostly people in probably the top 2%. And then this one dude on my team was the top like 0.1% of people. He's like the top 150 players on Halo. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I realized this after because you can't see during the game, but you can look through afterwards and see what people's ranks are. So I was unranked. One person on the other team was unranked and it was mostly people in like the top 2% except that one dude on my team. So I'm playing and I'm doing horrible because I'm obviously (laughs) way above my rank. I think I'm like, it's, it was not Slayer, but it was Capture the Flag. But I was like getting insta killed all over the place. And I was like one in 12 or something. And like three quarters of the way through the match, the dude gets on mic and goes like, Nick, what the fuck? Just quit. It's like, don't play ranked. Just quit. Get someone else in here. I'd rather a new player to the game than you. It's like, just quit. Whoa. While you're at Aww. it, quit. Play. And I was like, dude, like, I'm not a new player. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm not a new. That doesn't affect my self esteem. So, and I had my headset on. So I was like, I gave it right back to him. I'm Good. Like, fuck you. Fuck it's my you. first ranked game. It's like, kiss my fucking ass. I mm-hmm. said, I'll okay, very vulgar. Good. Game. Yeah. But, yeah. So, my point being, I had not previously experienced intense PvP style toxicity. I know Marcus has talked about it in Sotor a bunch, but I'm not really, not seriously like that. Like, I've experienced it way back when in the Modern Warfare 2 days where, like, everybody was talking shit to everybody, but it didn't matter how you did. They weren't like, it was just the lobbies, like, oh, right, right. Almost night. Exactly. So, things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, yeah. So that was, the, that was probably the first real bit of, like, targeted toxicity I've experienced. And I was like, I'm not letting you affect me and I'm not letting you get away with that. I have a mic too. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was just giving it back to him. I was like, dude, what if I was some new player and I was a kid and I'm playing my first uh, unranked match to try and get my rank. It's not my fault. You got stuck with me. Right. Like, you should be mad at the matchmaking system. Not me. Right. Suck I'm, less, pal. Yeah. Less. If, yeah. if you're so good, carry me. Exactly. Right. If you're so, or how about get, and I was like, how about give me some advice? So I stopped dying. It's like, yeah. Hey, stay over here. Obviously you can't kill anybody because you're, too low of a rank for this lobby it's like let me like follow you do something so i've stopped freaking dying and i'm not useful to the team and even still i ended up pulling turning things around as i'm arguing with him i got mad and the adrenaline kicked in and i started my reaction time improved (laughs) 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 got some more kills i ended up up being like one in 12 i was like i don't know around 50 percent kill the death ratio so (laughs) <laughs> that's all oh i'm just gonna say the message of this story is don't let bullies be bullies stand right. up for yourself yeah hell yeah he's not cool you don't have to take it 
Yeah, Anyways, fuck them. positivity. That's that interesting. Event. We had a, a similar conversation today on the stream mm-hmm. about people talking about other people in PvP being assholes. Right. And yeah. I always, I've now, for whatever reason, I don't know what corner I turned, but I just find it funny that people are mad. At, yeah. Right. Or people are being dicks. You're just like, wait a minute, you're actually upset. Right, you're mm-hmm. you lost. <laughs> you lost. Yeah. Right. You're all your panties are all in a bunch, and you're in a tither, and and I'm like having fun playing no my game. It's like you lost. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> right. Calm your fucking tits yeah. and let's play another round. Like you exactly. know, exactly. Like let yourself die. You die all the time in PvP. Get used to it. Exactly. <laughs> like, that's part of PvP is dying all the time. Once right. you get past that shit, it's not a big deal. Right. right. Uh-oh, Whoa, Marcus G just cracked fuel. the G Fuel. Uh-oh. It's getting intense. It's I want to see real. him butt chug that thing. I can't. Liar. I you're, won't sleep. <laughs> you don't have a funnel? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't have a funnel. I've lived here this whole time, and I oh never invested in a real beer bong. Uh-oh. Funnel. Maybe somebody needs a housewarming gift when they uh-huh. move in. Or... Yes. All right. If, if he gets a funnel, funnel, it has to be the shape of a dick and balls. So as soon as he's following, it's a both of you are obsessed. They probably have a um, uh, like bachelorette party, um, beer funnel like that. I'm sure they do. Yeah, I I, I bet you that's a thing. Where was I? Back at the ranch. No. (laughs) Meanwhile, oh, toxicity in their uh, Halo game. Yes. So, anyways, don't let people be toxic or fuck them. Fuck them. You are worth a lot. Here's what you got to do. You got to go. Hey. Why don't you guys just go ahead and chill out? We're all here to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Let's just all be nice to each other. <laughs> My best friend okay. right there. <laughs> That's the that is funny on multiple levels. Do you know oh what that is? Yes. A flashlight. <laughs> Basically. Do you know but- where I found it? <laughs> In between your mattresses? Nope. I found it in my roommate's room when he uh, moved out without saying anything. Mm-hmm. Oh. And uh, Wait, I he just left. He yeah. just left. Yeah. The guy that fucked the room up and left. He left that thing. In there. It was disgusting. And it's more than a flashlight. This thing had yeah, like, batteries and shit. And I mean, it's got yeah, it vocabulary. <laughs> I'm surprised you're touching it, frankly. It it's so fucking funny to me. And that so uh, I used to send uh, kitty treats, like <laughs> videos, <laughs> videos of it going, hey, hey, keep your chin up. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of <laughs> positive Face messages times. from yeah. Frankie Fuss. Fuss anyway. Light. <laughs> <laughs> when he uh, first found it and showed it to me, he said, I'm going to fuck the shit out of this thing. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> oh. man i don't know if i would want to uh, someone's secondhand flashlight no oh no that would definitely be, yeah. it was hilarious he i knew, just uh, think like is it your hand it good enough you really got to elaborate in th- into getting this thing well, yeah, I, I can understand that but like to leave it somewhere is weird oh i yeah. got plans for it I feel mm-hmm. like I feel like that's like the first thing you you ditch when you're moving or something like that. I'm gonna like take it to his right, parents' I don't want house. Someone to find this. I'm gonna go. Hey, yeah. your son, your deadbeat son, left all this shit here. His yeah. fuck toy included. It was there pretty rough. That room was yeah. scary. Yeah. It was no yeah. Good. Okay. Anyway. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, Marcus met me at my parents' house, where we picked up a couch that I uh, acquired full free. <gasps> Thanks, mom and dad. Ooh, free Yay! couch. Uh, and we did the rather laborious activity of hauling it out of the, their house, um, which was on the second floor, and then into Marcus's truck, drove it to my new apartment, and hauled it up the, all three flights of stairs to oh, the third floor. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And just for the record, Nick's a fucking pussy. He was huffing <laughs> and yeah. fucking puffing. <sighs> I was dude, like, oh my God. And I'm standing there going, dude. Well, dude, like, I work in an office. All right, I know I suck need to to less, Nick. It's on he, my agenda. He's like, it's so hot out. I'm like, bro, it's not. No, hot I said, at I'm all. hot. It's winter. <laughs> <You're right>. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have, no, you'll you'll find no uh, 
argument here. I am undoubtedly out of shape. Um, but that was awesome. I was going to say something about the new apartment that I forgot. Uh, I think I don't remember. But anyways. moving weekend is next weekend. Oh yeah, moving weekend is next. Listen, weekend. your shit better be packed because if I yes. show up and the shit's not in boxes, I'm throwing it in fucking boxes. You want think Michael Jordan can slam the fucking ball in the in the net? <laughs> I mean, in the hoop, I'm gonna be fucking dunking everything into a box. <laughs> It's breakable no. or not, it's going in. It's That's the one thing. Uh, I like. Oh, go ahead, Kitty. I've helped a lot of people move, and I have very strict stipulations to what happens. And yeah, I yeah. have a hard out. I'm like, what time do? We, what time are we starting? Because I need to be out by two p.m. Out. Yeah. I'm done by two p.m. And I've yes. gone over to people's houses, and nothing's in boxes. And I'm like, <laughs> oh. whatever, whatever. Just uh, I'm going to be done here at too so right know, whatever, well, whatever I, feel, happens between I feel like you have to do that yeah with people like nick i can't do that with but i've already played yeah, the but win. I would never so like no, no no so i played the win so as soon as nick as soon as we head to the apartment i'm gonna tell my wife to come there with the kids an hour later so that's gonna be my out so after we get everything in nick's buying the pizza and the beer we'll all have a couple pieces of pizza I'll drink some beer and then the kids will be there to destroy the house and fucking <laughs> ravage it. And then I'm be like, see you later, Nick. See you later. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. I found with the vacuum and Swiffer. But that is a good move because I have helped a shit ton of people yeah. move. And like, I feel like whenever I've moved, I've always been primo, Fuck primo, yeah. primo organized. Me too. Like, yeah. Me too. shut the fuck up. See these boxes. All these boxes need to go in that vehicle. The, all the big stuff is going in my vehicle my truck or my van, whatever it is. And like, I've always been organized like that, but I have showed up to people's houses and I feel like people, when they're moving, they feel like you're a moving company. No, nope. like they right. own you. Uh, no, 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 I know that. But like you take it, look at, I can be here till two, whether we're done or not, I have to leave at two. Yeah. I'm gone. Like my heart out. And that's such a good idea yeah. because I've never done that. And like, I've helped people move and like you show up and like, there's the boxes that haven't even been been made into boxes yep. yet, and you're like, dude, oh god, like, are you kidding? He's like, oh dude, I got really wasted last night, and I was <laughs> like, bro, you've known you've been moving for a month and a half, right? Like, like I'm already moving stuff in there. Like, that's yeah. you kidding me right now? Like, get your shit together, and yeah. you end up being there until nine o'clock, and and at the, by the time nine o'clock comes, oh dude, I'm gonna order a pizza, bro. I want to go home, right? 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 I'm out. I'm my job I'm is done. Bye. So yeah, right. When I move, what, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, but it's also awful when you're the guy with the truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you're fucked. And you know, if you let your buddy drive, borrow your truck, you're not getting it back until the next day. And right. there's a guaranteed ding or a scratch. And guaranteed. A half empty I don't think I ding, dung or scratched it. Yes. For the record when I borrowed it. When I have in the past have <laughs> moved, I have had everything ready to go like oh yeah i've had boxes different size boxes in different stacks so yep. that you, the uh tetris game of the back of the truck can go that much easier and yes. i always go all right you are in charge of getting in the butt getting in the truck and stacking everything up making sure everything fits and then everybody else is just going to be feeding you stuff let's go yep. yeah that's perfect. That's, yeah, that's my game plan too. I've got moving just, down to a science. I've moved so many times that like me my too. shit. I, I just I just know exactly what to do. It's like yeah, and I have it ready. The next day, everything's in boxes. Everything goes in the vehicle I'm driving. I usually don't even ask people for help because I just do it, and I just I don't know every step of yep. the way. I usually do a it dolly. by myself. Got to have a um, dolly. Now, did you, I know a you painted that cool. room where your roommate left? Did you uh, finish it? Say it again. Oh, I was talking to Kitty. Oh, is the room. Uh, oh, yeah. It's painted and finished. Everything's so right. good. Someone's yeah. in it right now. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. I don't fuck around. No. What was I going to say? I yeah, no my idea. game plan, I think, is to take all of like um, my things that I wouldn't really want to put in a box and get it there before anybody's moving anything. Like, let me give you an example. Like, my computer and my monitors and stuff like that i don't want to put in a box you do not want anybody moving that no because no. if I'll my that, fucking like, dumbass if my dumbass is walking and i slip on ice complete accident and you see your monitor go 
<laughs> and you're like, yeah, or worse, the hour yeah, you're, fine. Fine. Totally yeah. Right. you're better off doing it yourself. Yeah. Move your desktop and you buckle it in. Yep. So All that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like that's a, that's a you thing. Right. That's what I'm Moving saying. Moving like, the things, desk things of that is an nature. us thing. Right. Yeah. Like the desk can stay. Like all the clothes are coming out of my dresser and going before anybody's ever there. But the dresser itself is a moving day thing. You know uh, what I mean? See, like you could put your clothes in trash bags and that's completely okay yep. as yeah. a moving item. Mm-hmm. Trash that's bag is a okay to move filled with clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good point. I could do I that. That's an because it's a good pad too for like your yes. dresser so all your drawers don't go flying. Yeah. In the good exactly just come to the shop and i'll give you a bunch of the contractor giant black bags oh that, yeah. i'm definitely gonna do that those are good Hell yeah yeah I'll do um, that. I'm, I remember, but i want to move a lot of my hanging clothes because that's a pain in the ass when you move to that'll all be there already that's see, our I, stuff see, yeah see that's yeah. a car thing and what's good about that nick is you, say, you care you care about the hanging shit for me the hanging no one, shit goes in the black trash care. bag and i don't yeah. give a fuck if it's wrinkled <laughs> right. you know exactly. right <laughs> there was one time i lived on the third floor of this house and i had been procrastinating moving um and it was just me i had to fit everything in the car i had at the time and i just got shit faced and <laughs> threw everything off of the balcony what didn't break went in the car. Anything else, I just fucking left it there. Oh, down man. in downtown Portland. <laughs> it was over. That's hilarious. I'm like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see. Uh, he imagine like your neighbor coming out and just being like, what's all this shit? I'm Broken like, glass and not shit. my like, like, problem. Not mine. That's, like, that wasn't I me. Know. I don't know what that what that was. It looks like a hurricane went by. <laughs> you should probably do something about that. I don't live here anymore, so I thought it was yours. <laughs> right. We were wondering about it. Yeah, who's <laughs> in that? I don't know. Bye. Um <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Uh what else? Oh, the book of Boba Fett finale was last hey. week. We need to talk about it because we were talking about Star Wars World Republic. That was epic. That mm-hmm. was fucking epic. Right. Spoilers ahead. Uh, right. uh, fast forward. Spoiler alert. Spoiler Spoiler, alert. Seen it. Spoiler alert. Yes. See, turn back now. Three, two, one. Spoiler time. So the Rancor was epic. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Um, my overall impression of the episode was like slightly underwhelming for a finale, but only because the previous two episodes were so epic and so like. Mm-hmm. In t- pulling in things from other areas of Star Wars, mm-hmm. obviously the episode right before had Luke, had Ahsoka, had Grogu again, had Mandalorian Grogu. with Grogu doing stuff. You had all you know pulling things from all, all over the place. Intro to Cad Bane last episode, right? So like with like the really cool like slow walk intro oh, with yeah. the duel with the the marshal. So like killer. that that was one of the exactly that was one of the be- that's probably my favorite piece of Star Wars content. Mm-hmm. Like oh, really? serving no of Star Wars content. I don't know because you got to figure it pulls in stuff from Clone Wars. It pulls in stuff from yeah. Rebels. Right. It pulls in original trilogy stuff. It pulls right. in. It some, does. You know what I mean? Some things from like all different areas of Star Wars and puts mm-hmm. it into this awesome Mandalorian oh, slash yeah. Book of Boba Fett right format that I love. Yeah, I love Cad Bane too. He's always yeah. been a Me super too. fave of mine. But what Nick isn't telling you is we actually made it like a real premiere party for the so finale. We went over, yeah, for the finale. Um, because we did the same kind of thing for the premiere. And because my life, dad life, I can't really get out of the house to watch it. Yeah. So, uh, but we did the finale party at his dad's house who has the big 86 inch TV. Oh, right, it's like right. a fucking movie theater. The sound is amazing. But like, we all had snacks. We all had drinks. Like we hung out for a half an hour before we started the show. After the mm-hmm. show, we talked about the show, broke it down, started to watch like new rock stars uh, Break like, down. right. breakdowns <laughs> of it. And I was just like, wow, this is fucking awesome. Just yeah. chowing on food, just hanging out. And like, it was such a good experience. And like we were, Nick and I were saying maybe the next show, um, series that comes out, we might start doing watch parties. Nice. It's a great in the idea. Discord, or maybe yeah. like just try a movie one because I don't know if I could do it. Like sit in my computer chair and enjoy a show like that in Discord. Well, you so, gotta like your computer chair because mine has a recliner feature. Well, like I my chair is super comfortable. I'm just saying, like, I don't know if like that that to me isn't consuming like TV content because yeah. I don't get to sit on the couch and watch TV often. It's usually I'm usually in front of the computer if I'm downstairs. Right. Yeah, but like when I'm sitting on the couch, like I, I get lounging. 
You get a little yeah. blanket, get the big Thank like you. Mickey Mouse, big, big fluffy pillow still yep. for my son. And yeah. like I lean against it and I just like put my feet up and it's amazing. You know, yeah. that could be really fun. I just realized the the <laughs> coffee table I put together last night, I could totally clamp my boom mic boom arm onto. Yeah. Of course idea. you could. But I have go. the ring light tripod, stick the ring light there. Oh get yeah. The boom mic going. I could have I could be lounging on the couch mm-hmm. like that and there you go. With the show on. And they said something somebody said that Roku is getting Discord. Like you're gonna be oh. able to download Discord on your Roku TV. Cool. How are you gonna do how are you how are you well, gonna so you can that? join voice? Oh, oh okay. That's interesting. Mm. Or maybe it was Twitch. I can't remember. It was one maybe it was Twitch. Well, that's a big difference. Twi- Wait, why would Twitch have a Discord? Twitch app so you can watch Twitch on your TV? I have that on my Fire oh, yeah. Stick. I have it on my uh, place or my Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense for uh, maybe. Twitch maybe I got it confused. I think yeah. personally, though, I would be super distracted. I don't think I would be much fun in a chat during the show, but maybe an after party. Like, well, so no. I, like right. the key is, is you everybody mutes their mic and nobody talks during the show. You just watch it together, and then as soon as it's over, you chat about it. Yeah. Okay. That that'd be yeah. That'd be fun. And if somebody you know somebody starts blabbing away, you ban them, you deafen them, like <laughs> <something>. yeah. Because <laughs> like you- that's the other thing. Like I would say, like the uh, sometimes like you're trying to play a game, and people pop in, and if you're in a Discord and they're not playing, and it's it it can get tricky. With more voices, yeah, that aren't Especially doing the same. Rude, when people like, aren't doing the same content, exactly. Yeah, that's why I have an invite only mm-hmm. on that channel, so that yeah. only the if I'm in Twitch in the voice channel, only people that I invite in can go in. Other, I've had it the other way, and people are just like randomly dropping in. Hey, it's- and you're like ah. It's hard. Right. It's, Shut it's up. Hard to- <laughs> well, yeah, you don't. You, you're not. You're not mad at them. You're just like, yo, you're messing with my flow. Right. 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 Yeah. It is. It. Yeah. It's or you get mad. You're like, why well, you, can't you? Like, you can't read up. a room. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> 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 read the room. Read the room, you asshole. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, that's it for me, Marcus. How's it going? And what have you been up to? Woo. So as. Always, I want to thank every single person who has, for the past two weeks, come to my stream channel and supported me and hung out with me while I played Destiny 2. It means so much. Like, people don't understand, like, you popping in for two minutes and just saying, yo, or hey, as all of us are streamers, like, that means so much to us and myself even. Because I know how busy I am. Like, if I get to go into your stream and, like, chat with you for five minutes or ten minutes, like, know that that's, like, that five or ten minutes is all the time I have, right? And if I get to enjoy it with you, it makes me really happy that I get to hang out in your stream. And it's the same vice versa for me when you come in. Like, even if it's what the hardest thing, and we talked about this last week, and I'm not backtracking with DC, but, like, when you're playing a game that, like, somebody else doesn't play, they can love you as a streamer, but if the game itself doesn't interest them, why are they going to watch you play it? Mm-hmm. You know, they may love you as a person, but they're like, eh, I don't play destiny. That's, I've yeah. done that. That's not my cup of tea. I, I, I've had that happen when I was watching. Oh, I forgot. Um, who's the streamer that does the really difficult, like platforms like Mario maker. Oh, no plays. On? Oh, no plays. I've done that with some of his streams. I've seen him streaming and been like, Oh, oh no. And then he's playing something I like, don't really care about. And I'm like, nah, okay. Moving on. But like sometimes yes. I'm clicking if it's Mario or or whatever game that I'm like it grabs my interest I'm like yeah. then I'll stay. Yeah, that that definitely happens, you know. But like I'll tell you what, but <laughs> just coming into somebody's stream and saying hello means so much, and yeah. I appreciate all of you. Um, so this week on Tuesday we got the final mission for um, uh, Destiny Two for the pre. It's like the pre prelude to the Witch Queen expansion, which comes next Tuesday. And I made the conscious effort that I said, I'm not going to play the SWOTOR expansion on Tuesday because I know it's going to be broken. They're going to be taking the, the servers online, offline, online, offline. And I was just like, worst case scenario. So I said, I'm going to do it on Wednesday. Perfect. 
So I got to do the exorcism of Savathun. It was fucking amazing. Like ever been that's, a part of a game. Content, and right? I will say this is for anybody. Anytime you start playing a game that you love and you're involved in the first expansion for the game, no matter what game it is, your excitement level is at 105. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Because you're yeah. like, this is my first fucking expansion. I'm so excited for this game. Yeah. Like this is going to be fucking amazing. And so I did that and Tuesday was so much fun. And then, um, Wednesday I logged into SWOTOR for the first time, um, in probably two weeks. Cause I just was like, Damn. you know what? I, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to play destiny and enjoy it. And I'm going to come in fresh minded and really dive into SWOTOR come 7.0. And I, the last time I played on the PTS was when they first released the the Juggernaut, well, the Guardian class changes, like way, 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 way back in like July. That was the last time I saw anything. I said, I'm going in 100% blind because I don't want to be spoiled and I just want to enjoy it. Excuse me, because all that was in my head was Eric Musco in that July live stream saying it's legacy of the Sith, which means lots of SWOTOR content. This expansion is going to be lots of content. Lots, lots, yeah. lots. It's all that was in my head. And I said to myself, I'm going to enjoy it. And the reason why I needed a little break is I raided two to three nights a week for years. That's a lot. Like, yeah, you did. And I, because I chased the almighty nightmare, which right. is the hardest content clear. Yeah. I like, remember finish that. a nightmare operation. It was, it was emotional. It was amazing. Like that moment I will never forget in any gaming world, because honestly <clears throat> beating a nightmare operation is harder than building a fucking cabinet. And, yeah. I would was, I was say so. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. And it was, and it completely burned me out. And because at the end of the day, you realize like, Nightmare operations is the same exact operation as story mode and hard mode, but they throw in two more mechanics that are insta deaths, which makes it really hard. And yeah, you know, as cool as it is, I just think I strived for it for so long. I was just burnt. And then I tried to do the story thing for a little while. And what I did like about the story stuff was that you get, like you really get a hold of your community at that point mm -hmm. when it's just you, the game in your stream and that's it. Um, it's, it's a good feeling, right? Because you're really getting a hold of your community. They're seeing choices being made, blah, blah, blah. So I preference that. So I logged into 7.0 on my main, which is my Marauder named after my daughter, Julia. And I, the last place I played her was on Balmora because we killed the godfather, the grandfather, world boss. And I expected when I loaded into 7.0, it was going to be like fucking fireworks going off and wild and crazy. Check it out. It's right. 7.0. This is different. And that is different. And this is different. <laughs> and I loaded in and it was the exact same. And I had no abilities. And I was like, huh. Okay. I'm still where I was. I don't know what to do. There's no tutorial on the screen and like nothing. No, like, Hey, red lights blinking. Click me. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Right. Exactly. Ding, 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 ding. Like, so no so instantly, like all so of the combat changes and everything, everything, nothing, no, no tutorial, no, nothing. It was just blank. So then in the top right hand corner where all my missions sit, it said play which was the story content. And then underneath that it was play and it says training for combat styles. So I, I, okay. I did, I figured out how to do my abilities, which there was no tutorial again. So I'm already frustrated. And then they made me pick between force choke, mad dash and in, um, Oh my God. Undying rage. I had a fucking meltdown on stream. Cause I'm like, Mad Dash is like my best friend in all fights. Oh, I love Mad Dash. Right. Mm. And now you have to pick. Do you want to stun your opponent? Do you want to run away from your opponent? Or do you want to live through anything for four seconds? Like, make that choice, bitch. And I was like, 
holy fuck, I can't make this choice. It literally was 20 minutes of me going, what the fuck? Was that when we raided you? Uh, maybe, yes. Or right after. Okay. And it was it was a really hard choice for me. And I had to move on. And uh, shout out to Arkin. He was like, just pick one and you can change it after. And I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so. And I so I did that and I said, OK, I don't know what to do, but I said all everybody's talking about and Bioware said combat styles, combat styles. You can play two classes. Blah, blah. So I clicked the training video. <laughs> Okay, and it started off and there was a red side and a blue side and it was this crazy cut scene of like you walking down a bridge and it's like, do you want to go blue side or red side, light side, dark side? And always choose dark side. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Where did that come from? (laughs) He's got all the props. Yeah, I feel like you. I feel like with that epic of a mustache, you have to talk like only like the um, the narrator from Clone Wars. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So kinky. All right. So Bioware has had a Mass Effect uh, like conversation tree since the beginning. Right. So I go into this training program and it's not voice acted. It's nope. just this person talking in text. And I, no joke, my immediate reaction was, what the fuck is this? You're telling me out of your Wait, entire the class tutorial is like, yes, that? no, no, no. Like to pick your combat style. It's not voice or voice acted. There's no voiceover. I'm like, you're telling me out of all of the people that work for Bioware, you couldn't have somebody talk and voice over it. And then just used one of those sound changers that all the singers use to make their voices sound good to like <laughs> right. make yourself sound like a robot or whatever it is. I mean, like anybody you couldn't just be like, hi, this or, is combat style. Or put a fucking comment in the forums that says, Hey, everybody enter a raffle. We're going to need, we're going to use you for a voice. Right. Like no voice. Huge. And I'm like, or pick a wait content a creator. I've been right. So I said, right. I've been waiting three fucking years for a 10th anniversary thing. And there's no voice acting for their main selling point to this expansion. Okay. So I pick my Sith juggernaut. Cause it's always like, if I can play Julia as a Marauder and a tank jug tank, it's a win across yeah. the boards. So I finished that and I'm, I'm in a very odd place. I'm uncomfortable. The UI is different, but I can get past the UI mm-hmm. because it's just UI. Right. So I start the story and I was, so the last we left the story was Malgus was stealing something from some place on Duran, I think. Yep. Right. That was, yes. That's the last flashpoint. Yes. Yeah. On Duran. Right. And then we had a, a side quest going, which was the Mandalorian issue. Right. Correct. So all of a sudden I'm like, okay, so we're going to Manan Bioware has told us that this is a planet. There's going to be exploration. This is a real planet. We show up and it's a fucking heroic area and everything is instanced. There's no exploration. And I'm like, and the story makes no sense at all to the game. None. It's like its own side side quest. Like, okay, the, the Republic is attacking uh, or, or the empire is trying to take, take Kalto to survive, but it's not linked to anything. And I'm like, who fucking wrote this? And I'm so butthurt already. Like I'm already upset and I'm like, Oh my God. Then I'm doing this fucking story. And I'm so frustrated because you guys know what artificial content is. It's when they artificially plant stuff to make it stretch longer. So there's so many ads, you know, what's that flashpoint Caparo? Now there's so many yeah, trash so mobs. Many. Right. That's the way this is. And I'm like, but there's no need. Then every single ad has one or two healers attached to it, which you're on a healing planet, which right. it makes sense. And I get it. But I mean, the silvers had 440,000 HP. I'm like, yes. Whoa. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And I'm, I'm be now I don't have a stealth as a marauder. But like, yes, if you had a stealth, you could skip it all. But I was just blown away. And I was so frustrated that I had to stop. 
at one point I had to, I just walked away to the bathroom because I had to stop. And there's a spot where it doesn't tell you that you have to open a door. It just doesn't work. There's nowhere to go. You're trapped in a room. Thank God I stream because my stream is like, Hey, you got to go to your stronghold and leave to go back into the instance because then you'll be outside of the room. Wait, I said, what if you're a brand new player? Yeah. And, and you, you get stuck that. and you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <clears throat> right. the game? Yeah. Is that a bug? Yes. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is the, the, there's no quality in that, like no polish. The story makes no sense. I didn't even finish the story because I was so frustrated by it. This is supposed to be the 10th year anniversary. And this is like game update 6.5. We got more content in onslaught than we did in this expansion. And Bioware can tell us until they're blue in the face that, Oh, we're trinkling it out all year. You are, fucked up this expansion is not an expansion this is a game update and shit and people have been telling me all day oh you can't be mad they've told us it's going to trickle out listen fight and final fantasy 14 gave 80 hours of story content jeez eight dungeon eight dungeons and four operations bosses or raid bosses four and they're yep. all three tiers like story mode hard mode nightmare that's the way i'll put it right they were they were they released their content two weeks late and the game producer was on a live stream crying right. i saw that sa- saying yeah. how sorry he was that it's two weeks late but he's like i want it to be perfect understand that everything is ready but we want to polish it just that much better we yeah. delayed nine weeks and people are saying that the bugs that are in it now are the same exact bugs that were in it nine weeks ago. Right. And I'm and sorry. And I, and I did not do the new flashpoint. And if, and I'm so sick of everybody telling me that, like, I'm so sick of people being upset. This is the 10th anniversary three years ago when Nick and I were in the star Wars cantina in New York city, yeah. they were talking about onslaught the team was telling us just wait until the 10th year. Right. This is it's nothing compared to what the 10th year is going to be. Right. And I'm sorry. Like we got duped and I, I, I had to speak about it today because I'm, I'm upset because I feel like I've just been like, if I was this bad at my job, nobody would hire me to build their kitchen. And, and I'm not talking bad about the devs because this could be an EA thing. It could be anything. I feel like it probably is. But you're you over, don't have the resource to make. Yeah, but yeah. Why, why, you're over promising, but under delivering. It's a fail. The, the word to success is under promise and over deliver. Right. Correct. Yeah. And this is not and like they can say, oh, the, the real expansion is combat styles. This is a story driven game nobody gives a fuck about combat styles people want story people live for story content in a game and we didn't get shit and it sucks i'm i don't even know what to say like a year from now could it be it could by the time they should have just done the 10th anniversary in t- December of 22 and given them an extra year mm-hmm. to figure out what they're doing. Sure. Because yeah, we, what they gave us is not an expansion. And then to top it off, and this is where they came out with a fucking digital deluxe edition for 40 fucking dollars. that gave you a mount, which is cool. A lightsaber, which is cool. Cartel coins awesome and a 30 day sub code awesome but you know what's the problem is they took fucking mods out of the game and you can't even use the fucking lightsaber that they get that you get in the right. digital deluxe because there's no more mods in the game because they took it out and the mods the weapons designer was supposed to launch with it but it's not here yet so you paid 40 dollars to get the sweet ass lightsaber which i really right. really want but you can't fucking use it because there's no mods in the game. Who that the fuck does that? Bad. 
suck less. Well, yep. Check it out. Yeah. Tell where's, them where's, kitty treats. Oh yeah. So there's, you probably saw on Twitter, you know how a lot of people were buying the um, collector's edition on Steam and they didn't get it and they, you know, everybody's upset and then they fixed that or rolled it out. They're rolling out a fix for it or whatever. But if you're somebody like me who never uses Steam and you only buy things through the website. Well, they charged me for it, and I haven't gotten any of my shit yet. <laughs> so I'm like sitting here, still waiting for my my collector oh my stuff. So did I haven't send, even gotten it. Did you send a, a customer a service? Yeah. Yes, did I you? did. Okay. Yeah. Can you send me a copy of that? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Of course. I'll forward that on. Thank um, you. But anyway, so my point is, and and I said, do, do I sound hostile? No, probably. you sound just passionate. You sound and, like and, a passionate gamer. Yeah, because I so love this it. game. Like <laughs> I'm not, like Angry Joe. Like, how about this? I've met some of my closest friends in this game. Like, I used to joke and say I have five friends. I have <laughs> two real life friends now. Like, maybe three real life friends. Three. Everybody else is because of Star Wars: The Old Republic. Mm -hmm. The friendships that I have in this game. I mean, I talk to Kogus. Every single day, every day, I talk I'll to Chimera almost friend. every day. <laughs> oh Kitty, you are my friend. I fucking call <laughs> you from the shower when you're streaming just to be fucking funny. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know. But, Frankie but, is, but is these friendships friend. are real because of the game. Oh yeah, they're so totally when I'm real. passionate, the fr but the problem the problem for me is this is not. If you want to grow something, this is not how you do it. And now we're at a point of where does it go? Then here's the other thing. Spoiler alert. When you play the Imperial side, whoever did the writing for the force user on the Imperial side for the first part of the expansion, I think they wrote it nine weeks ago when they delayed it because <laughs> You go in there and the, there's a Sith Lord talking to you. And he says, well, you're intimidate. You're intimidate. You're trying to be Sith motherfucker. I'm on the Sith dark council. I run this right. shit <laughs> and you're treating me like I'm a bounty hunter. Like who the fuck are you? And just some of the writing aspect. It doesn't make sense. It makes zero sense to the game. I'm, I'm beyond. This is a fail beyond fails. Now, can they turn it around? Of course they can. Will they make it better? Of course they can. But whatever excitement you had for this game was shot out the window. Shot out. And the other side of that too is, and this really bothers me, if you look at the Destiny 2 community team, the fucking Guild Wars 2 community team, Final Fantasy 14's community team, you look at their Twitters, everything about their life revolves around the game that they are on the community team. Our community team is nothing. There's been no excitement for this expansion at all. Like, I, I just, and honestly, like P, they, like we got this amazing P. cinematic trailer, but if I'm a new player and I see this cinematic trailer, I'm going to go, I want to fucking play this game. Yeah. It was and amazing. you're going to load into this game and you're going to start off at, at level one, or you're going to have a character boost and you're going to start at Osis and you're going to load in for the first time and go, this doesn't look like the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. That. And it doesn't play like anything. It doesn't play like anything else. Like this yeah. isn't Jedi fallen order. And for me, I'm, I'm so under the thing that like, okay, cool. It's your 10th year anniversary. You wanted a cinematic trailer and the trailer was awesome. Why don't you just put that money into co like content? And my last thing is, is where are all the Anthem devs? When Anthem got shut down, supposedly they were all supposed to work on this game. Mm -hmm. Confirmed, unconfirmed. I don't know. But like, where did all of the resources go for this game? Because I don't know what happened from July to February 15th, but something, some disconnect happened there. And what we were, what was talked mm -hmm. about to what happened are two different things. I really hope Keith gets a live stream going or a fucking video and just says, this is our roadmap. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that would be right really now, nice. because right now, I know I'm. I if you love the content, you're the minority right now. Like PVPers love this expansion right now because PVP feels new and fresh because right. people don't have all the abilities; they can just do what they're doing. But if you're a raider yeah. or a a uh, story player, basically this expansion is, huh? and there's no, and the biggest thing for me is there's no tutorials. I'm going back to it. Like That's there's nothing to explaining to you how to do combat styles. There's nothing explaining to you how to acquire gear. I don't even know. So I stayed away from it. I don't even know about the gear. I like, I'm like, okay, so do I have to do hammer station a thousand times? No, you have to do weeklies. What do you mean by weeklies? Well, you have to do so many weeklies and then you get a box that gives you a piece of gear. But once you have right. that piece of gear, the the box won't give you that piece of gear again. But you can't mix operations gear with flashpoint gear because flashpoint gear only goes up to this level. And this it, it, uh, my mind is just scrambled. And maybe it's because I didn't look into this prior that I'm so lost. Yeah, but you but, shouldn't really have to. I yeah. agree. Yeah, like, you shouldn't have to. I you, a I'm, game should lay that out for you. Right. right. Yeah. You don't have to go be following the blog posts on the game's no. website. But there is no blog know how post. the hell yeah, or nothing. whatever. Well, in that, the forums, wherever they were explaining the changes as they go along, like you shouldn't have to be referencing that to know how to play all the yes. new well, and, core concepts in the game, you know? Even if they didn't want, even they didn't do it, but they have such a great and strong uh content creators they could have linked you know like oh the check this walk throughout with so Teresa, blah 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 use what you have yeah there are right. great great content creators Resources. and they're not even using that as a resource I that disappointed me hugely because i love yes. community events i like organizing them i like being a part of them and mm-hmm. just to see them kind of not even tap into their content creators it's like you guys all of you would have been like so down to like yeah. participate in that and mm-hmm. hype yes, it up. Free too. Imagine? The work would have been done free. No right. shit. Everyone would have been like, yeah, sure. That sounds great. Feature me. My channel gets more stuff. Right. Well, it's, like, now, you don't I even to need do to this, feature whatever. me. Yeah. And, and, but I am good at preferences. If you're one of the fucking assholes out there that is threatening the devs, go fuck yourself oh, and yeah, don't no, ever come good. near me and spit that shit. Yeah, the devs do his best, the best job that they can. We're all frustrated about it, but they, you should never threaten. No, and and treat other streamers and content creators like they're the reason why this happened. Nope, <laughs> they're not. Yeah, it's right. an executive problem. Right, exactly. Like this is yeah. yes. Somehow, so this this reminds me of Battlefront Battlefield twenty forty two. Game wasn't ready. EA pushed it out, and then they're yeah. like, oh. This game is a disappointment. Well, no shit. It's a disappointment. It wasn't ready. Right. And I am always a believer that I would much rather of them said, look at this shit. Isn't ready. We're delaying until July. Yeah. Sorry. Cool. Yeah. But like, we would have all been like, Oh, look at another delay. But you know what? In July, if it released and it was awesome, you forget about it. I'll give an yep. example. When we do your kitchen on day one, we demo that shit week three out of 10. You lose your kitchen sink. You want to talk about frustration in a household when you lose your kitchen sink and you have to wash dishes yeah. in your, in your, in your tub. It yeah. sucks. Okay. <laughs> There's no dishwasher. It's hands and fucking knees in a tub. And if I come to you and say on week 9.4, Oh, uh, Hey, I'm delaying. I'm delaying, uh, another, uh, two weeks. What meltdown? Right. Yeah. But, yeah. but when it's done, you, those two weeks go by and you have your kitchen, you forget about the struggle that you just went through because you have your That's shiny true. new kitchen and it's fucking awesome and everybody's happy. Right. Yeah. So but for if me, you, if you said that and then it was, if you said, oh, I need a delay <clears throat> a one week instead of two weeks and then it was, the kitchen was screwed up and there yeah. was a gap between the countertop and the, and the sink and whatever, you know what I mean? Then, people would remember you delayed and it screwed up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's wild. Mm. So it's, um, yeah. So I'm, uh, frustrated, obviously I'm I frustrated. Just want, I want them to be a lot more 
transparent transparent with us like if yeah. you don't have the team that's cool just let us know give it's us too like late, though. give us a it is too late for that but you know maybe they'll live mm-hmm. and learn but being transparent and, and uh having a roadmap that actually is going to have stuff that's going to be coming out and it, yeah just be honest with everybody I think yeah. I think it would go a long way with people. I do too. With this community, this community is awesome. Like it's, I I don't know. I just think that it's unreal how great this is. community is. Yeah, and it's if a they phenomenon. Just, it's it feels like they don't participate in no, the community enough. They don't. It's, <laughs> it's it's how about this? Out of all the most of the big MMOs, viewership on Twitch and Swotor is probably the lowest, but the community is so tight knit. Like you go into streams, I'll go into your stream, Kitty, or Treats, one of yours, and two of my friends are in there chatting with you. And it's like we're picking up where we left off earlier in somebody right. else's exactly. stream. And it's just we all know each other and we all support each other. And it's like, okay, we're here all to win together for the game. Right. Mm-hmm. We're all and, on the same team, basically. Right. Yes. I mean, this, the community is so strong and so into it that. There was a fucking stand player or or a content creator stand that had wasn't supported by the team or the, uh, 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 the company that I know of to be there at celebration. The last celebration, Swocharista set all that stuff up to for her on her own, got it all going, paid for it and everything because she has passion for the game. Mm-hmm. And everybody came together that she asked to help because they had passion for the game. And the devs were like, I remember them saying like, hey, does anybody else have a community run stand at, you know, at the uh, uh, the conventions? Oh. No. But this community is so tight. Mm-hmm. I have no idea where I'm going with this. But what I'm. I don't know. I, they don't utilize the they, they don't utilize it, right? Or participate and they in it, don't really. participate. Yeah. Exactly. Thank yeah, you, it's, Kitty. It's just kind of to me, like lately, and I, I'm all over Twitch, like all over Twitch. I'm on Twitch all the time. I see all because <laughs> I love Twitch. I love yeah. Twi- Swotor on Twitch. And I see like them popping into some people's Swotor streams and dropping random codes on the launch day and a couple, and maybe a day or two after, or whatever. But that's the only participation that I have witnessed. Yeah, like, really. never. They've never come into my stream. Yeah, and they didn't come into yeah. to Kitty's stream either, which, you know. Yeah, no we're comment. only streaming like <laughs> eight to nine hours a day. So. <laughs> right? Right. right, right. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's like, it's so weird to me. Like they popped in and dropped some sub codes and stuff. I don't know. It just gives me the idea that, you know, I've got a bit of a marketing background and I'm just thinking that they want their subs to look good. Like they need to like have a strong subscriber base after this launch. It has to be thick. They want it to, you know, it seems like that's what the goal is rather than the hype and enjoying it with the community, which is what I would love to see because that's what I love. And that's, I just, you know, I was like, I want that job just so I can, I can do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, it's so disappointing on the community part. Like, I, I don't have a, a business background, so I might be talking out of my ass here, but go ahead. I feel like <laughs> if you if you engage in those community events, you get the subs. You're like, mm-hmm. yeah. if you're supporting your community, yep, you get more subs because people are passionate about it. People want to be mm-hmm. a part of that mm-hmm. that culture, you know? Right. Versus if you just like obviously giving out free sub codes is just inflating your sub numbers, right? You know what I mean? yeah no that's i agree it's like if you it's you know you're putting that passion back into it and having fun and hype with the community people will be like yeah i want a sub you get you'd get organic subs rather than just a sub because it was free i think in in all of this is because the content that was released two days ago i mean somebody said to me marcus i went to the store I bought a shit ton of snacks. I bought some soda. I bought some seltzer. I was ready to play the X pack and I was going to play it all day long. And I signed in and I played two hours of story and it was over. And I was like, well, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> right. 
and oh, okay. So now I, I, but there's no, nothing telling me, oh, in order to upgrade your gear, you have to do this. Right. And it's, it, I don't know. I, I'm, I know that they're going to fix it, but I'm so sick and tired of games releasing and then they fix it three weeks later because they can. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? <clears throat> yeah. The tutorial thing for me is what blows my mind. Like, mm-hmm. how is that not the first thing you work on? To I explain agree. your new combat because, style changes. Mm-hmm. Nick, that's, because that it, blows my mind. Because it's not ready. Right. It's they, not ready. It, it's not ready, but they had to release it. Mm-hmm. And, that, and it, you don't it, have it, a working guide at all that you can chuck up there, even text box, something where you're right. like, hey, here's combat styles. Or like, watch this video with animations, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great comic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what is it's, a, it's a it's a it's it's Superman walking and Superman is Bioware and he walks by a building that's on and fire. It says Swotor, and it's on fire and you know he he goes into the booth and changes and he, into Clark Kent. And he, yeah, and he goes into the booth and changes into Clark oh Kent and then just blows on it and whistles wee, 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 and walks by the burning building. Um, yeah, rip that. Yeah, guy. Um, I, don't I just I don't understand how you have no no like nothing to explain combat styles or the new gearing and nick you're not a, you're not an avid swotor player no yeah. i'm just a dude right well you play you play it to play the story for a little while until you get sick of doing it and then you move on and then you come back right and then you play a little more story and then you get sick of it and you come back you're right. not us you're not I'm me not tracing MMO guy, kisses you know mm-hmm. right and that's yeah. my that's my uh, major fault. I, I get guess. what you're saying, though, because when you release something new, even if it's for you know, even if it's even if an old game, it's still you got to cater to new players. You have to because new players are how you you know make money because you want you want to bring right. in new players, but you also have to think about the loyal players that have been playing for like ten years or whatever it is. Mm. I, and, I would want to do it more for them. Like explain, hey, you're yeah, used to this. Mm-hmm. You go in, you do this. This is how everything works. We're changing that drastically, but we're not going to explain any of it. Or how about good luck? On, or when you're logging in at the login screen with all your characters, <laughs> big bold box that says when you log in, abilities will be gone. Gone. Right. right. Notice yeah. things where are going to look different. Mm-hmm. Right. Thing. And for me, I'm just like man yeah you know it even could have been done as sorry i didn't mean to cut you off it's fine um like a little you know hollow tutorial with yeah like a a droid saying hello we'd like to announce some new things that are happening it'd be hilarious you know yeah Yeah, kind of just run you through it even if it only was like 30 seconds to give you like a basic download that would have been like uh, it would have been great and I mean, yeah, you could you cater could that to both new and old players. Like it wouldn't have to be just one or the other. Like you could make it so everybody got to go through it and learn it. And then you're right. set. <laughs> to start you can, you, it could be fun. You could have like, you could show little video clips of like, of some random tune. It's like, you can have combat more than one combat style. They pull out a lightsaber and then they pull out a sniper rifle. Or demo something. of you know some I mean? sort. It could, it could be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Choose your style. Something like that. This is going to be different. And, if it's just like tumbleweed going by, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely bananas to me. So um, in AIE stuff, so every week we're going to uh, highlight a certain part of AIE because we all there's so many games that AIE plays and we're so excited to talk about it. So this week, uh, Guild Wars 2 is getting their big, big, big End of Dragons expansion on February 28th. Um, which that's another long running MMO, but this is supposed to be the end of all dragons is coming to attack you or some shit like that. I don't actually play it. Um, it sounds awesome, but their mandatory fun night are Monday nights from nine to 11 PM Eastern time, which is the correct time zone, no matter where you live in the world. Yes. <laughs> That, that does like, not count towards the fart contest. <laughs> yes. I think Marcus is full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, please join in. Also, two Swotor stuff. Tuesdays are the mandatory fun night. Every first Friday of every month is Master Mode Flashpoints, which yep. now you have to be level 80 to be able to do a Master Mode Flashpoint. You And in order to do operations, you have to be level 80. I didn't even get into that. 
Um, that is not that, that's noob. not cool either. No, that is not new player fe- new player friendly no. to learn how to play. But they didn't scale friendly. the game back. Whatever. Moving on. But wow. the final the last Saturday of every month. So that is this month. It will be Saturday. Saturday uh, the twenty sixth. Thanks, Nick. That's the fourth Saturday of the month. What? Right, ha- let what me is- just take over because I know Marcus is not great at explaining things. Hmm. It's a little bit complicated sometimes. <laughs> Four Saturdays is a lot of Saturdays. That is a okay? lot of Saturdays. Mm-hmm. So let me just break it down for you so you understand. Okay. It sounds like this. It sounds like Saturday, 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 and it's Mega, the Mega. monthly Epic Guild activity where we'll sell you the whole seat, but you only need the edge. <laughs> Mega. <laughs> it never gets old. Your camera so, work is um, great on that, by the way. Yes. So that's new. Um, I started doing that last week. So the uh <laughs> I like it. So this month's mega, I don't even know what we're doing because it's gonna be really geared towards gearing in 7.0. Which and yeah, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> I, which I am um, I'm I don't even know what to do yet. So I'm yeah. hoping that you know our favorite content creator, Soterista figures it out for me and she puts out an awesome video <laughs> that says hey in order to get gear in 7.0 you have to do this and then i will gear mega towards that but that's saturday <laughs> uh february 26th join us for mega um and if all this sounds fun to you go to aie-guild.org get our discord information in the top right hand corner of the screen click that button join the discord see all of the wonderful games we play Cause we would love to have you. Um, and I know we've been going at this for a while, Nick. I know you have to pee. I definitely do. So we'll be right back. Jeez, Nick, hurry up. We're trying to finish this podcast. And we're back. So today we've got some questions for kitty treats. And we've discussed a lot of these with our, our old pal Kitty Kisses already, but let's hear it from the dynamic duo because you guys do a lot of dual streaming, mm-hmm. which is fairly unique. Do you want to explain that first before we dive into the, the hard hitting questions? Oh, yes. You yes. go. All right. Nikki. Well, I mean, the Marcus, uh, y- did you want to know about the, the dual streams? Yes. I think so let's start how with it that. Started, how it started? Because like, yeah. it's kind of yeah. random. I mean, like I, I, we met through Kitty Stream, you know, and so when I came to visit, I should explain that, or we should right. start with. Thank that. you, yeah. Thank you guys you both. Thank. Let's let's thank back you. back it all up. <laughs> let's back that ass up and start back over. that ass up. So back that Kitty kisses friend of the show, obviously for a long time, been on a million times streams. One public. million times. One time. oh, yes. million oh. times. Whoop whoop whoop. Kitty treats here. Yes. Made that username completely unrelated, unknowing Kitty Kisses existed. Years yes. ago. <laughs> Years ago. Years ago. Right? Yes. <laughs> also, were you streaming on Twitch prior to or no? Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, I started okay. I started probably five years ago or something like that. I think it was, yeah, it was probably like, I think 2016, 2017 or something like that. I started streaming art as Kitty oh, Treats. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So how did you come across Kitty Kisses' stream to begin with? Well, okay. So I had played SWOTOR uh, years ago and it was, you know, back then it was like super glitchy. I was still hung up on WoW. So I just said, eh, fuck it. I'm just going to stick with WoW because I was into raiding and PVP and all that shit. Okay. But then I got to where I was just like, okay, WoW, we're breaking up. I don't, you know, whatever. (laughs) I don't like this expansion. I'm done. Let's try SWOTOR again because I've always been obsessed with Star Wars. And I was like, let's give it a shot. It looks pretty cool. Like it's still booming. So I started mm-hmm. playing it for a month or two or something like that. And then I was like, I want to see if anybody is like streaming this on Twitch. Cause yeah. I had a hard time figuring some stuff out. And I thought if somebody's streaming it. Maybe I'll learn some shit. So I looked around right. and I saw somebody named Kitty Kisses. And I'm like, huh, okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm gonna, there's a kitty cat there. I'm going to click on that. And right. right when I rolled up into this this fucking stream, <laughs> he's like, he's like all close up. And I'm like, oh, he's fucking cute. All right, cool. I'm going to stay. And he's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> like that, doing his fart sounders and shit. I'm like, I am really attracted to this. I'm staying for a little while. <laughs> like 
<laughs> I'm like, I don't know. This is like sexy and funny at the same time. This is awesome. So I was like, and he's playing Swotor. So I stuck around and that, I mean, like, I just, I don't know. I just, that was, that was my first, like my first experience in his channel. <laughs> so, that's fantastic so yeah that was, it was awesome and we started talking a little bit and she'd be in yeah. stream talking and she would say something and i'd be i'd be are you fucking with me are you like <laughs> do, hey, do you have you been following the stream and are you like stalking or something and it was it just kept happening and it kept happening mm-hmm. that we had the same sense of humor we liked all the same stuff and and eventually i was like hey because it was covid i was like hey what do you think about uh going on a virtual date and she's like no (laughs) (laughs) actually the first time (laughs) but see the fact is is she she said that is not exactly true. So the not no exactly did true. come out. Yeah, so it did. Here's, okay. here's what it was. Okay. So like at that moment. <laughs> oh, I hey, was... everybody listening to the podcast, Kitty Tree's cheeks are bright, 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 red. <laughs> yeah, right they now. are. They're yeah. totally, totally are. red. I was totally Full embarrassed, embarrassed talking about myself. <laughs> I don't like talking. Don't... <laughs> she keeps okay. pointing no to look great. at her stall anyway, tactics. Yeah. So was, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right. So he messaged me that and I was like fuck in my brain i'm like fuck yes i totally want to do this fuck yes like i was so into it and then i'm like okay wait okay you have to be an adult here you have to slow down you can't i had all kinds of shit going on like i was getting ready to move to portland actually is looking at places in portland we didn't actually know that each other i don't did we know at that time where each other lived i think we maybe did i think because kitty treats lived in southern oregon and i lived up in portland and I think we knew that we were both in the same state. That's why state. I pursued you because yeah. I was like, Oh, you right. know, this could actually work. And yeah. at the time I was, I had been celibate for mm-hmm. years and going to therapy and not being in any relationship so I could get my shit together. Mm-hmm. And he, he and, remember you've hey, talked about it on here. Yeah, yeah. And do you guys remember yeah. what he just said? He is, he, pursued her yes. <laughs> he did well yeah well, i was just that one straight out of the database okay? i mean yes. my thing was just like i i just said you know hey let's can we just like wait a little bit or what did i say i can't remember what i said something like that can we just be like, friends can we just keep oh, it how put it is in the now friend zone? no yeah. it is you got friends. friend zoned get out i of said here. can yeah, we keep exactly. it the way it is for now yeah what can we table? keep it the, the way it and is for then, now and i'm like of course because because I was going through like a lot You're of better man stuff. than I, sir. Because I was I, trying yeah. to, you know, get my ADHD treatment started, all that shit. But like that didn't last very long because like I kept going talk. We kept talking. Like it was nothing changed. Like we were just talking. Yeah. And then finally, I was like, "All right." Since I said that, I'm like, "I'm gonna see if he wants to still do that virtual date." Like so, I I think I texted you and asked. Yeah. Well, if okay, that's great. Yes. Because a lot of the time people say, no, keep it how it is. And then it just goes nowhere. Either, yeah, it goes yeah. nowhere. That's like 99.9% of the time. Mm-hmm. You following back up is like yeah. the golden egg dropping down. Yeah, for yeah it was awesome. Yeah. I was just like, yes, I was, let's fucking go. Yeah, I was like wanting to, I wanted to right when he asked, but I, I thought maybe just, yeah, because I had been single for a long time and then. I just thought I was per- going to perpetually be single. I thought yeah, I was me inc- too. incompatible with people and I was afraid that I'd fuck something else up. So I was like, and I didn't fuck up past relationships, but I just, I felt like maybe I, you know, should not rush into anything or whatever. Makes and, sense. Uh, yeah. That's healthy. So, but yeah, I mean, it was like, I was so excited. I mean, I even thought I was like, I had told friends that I thought I was asexual. We told each other that we yeah. were asexual. We thought we both wow. thought that. Yeah, like we, it is not the case. I can tell you that for a fact. That is not, I love it. Not the case. And I was like, you know, I had been out of the game for so long. I had. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm on medication, so my sex drive is very, you know, low. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't even know if I could get a boner anymore. So I was like a little bit like uh, yeah. standoffish, but I was like, I mean, mm-hmm. you, you can get a script for that pretty easily. Oh, yeah, we don't need it. But 
I, uh, I mean, you don't. Okay, you well, never. All, uh, sometimes, listen. Oh, it was just scary. What I'm saying. Yeah, but yeah, but I understand that. But sometimes you just need to see some titties. Yeah. <laughs> and and your body's gonna do the yeah. work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, it ends up we're not asexual. Not. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's so awesome. so you guys. So, then, met, so you started. Go ahead, Nick. I was, I was going to say, formally the question, essentially, but so you guys met, you mm -hmm. both had streamed previously. Were mm -hmm. you streaming also now, uh, Kitty Treats? I know Kitty Kisses was. Oh, you mean, was I streaming at the time I met him? Correct. No, I had taken a break from it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Then, so you guys meet the romance blossoms. Yeah. And then uh, you discuss streaming together is that how the dual stream sort of came to be not really we were kind of stupid about it actually. yeah we were totally dumb <laughs> we were really dumb about it she came to visit yeah. and so we she'd already been here for a couple of days and i was like hey we should dual stream somebody in the chat was like oh yeah why don't somebody you even <laughs> said why don't you guys dual stream and yeah. so she jumped on her laptop and we got it together and did a mm -hmm. dual so, stream I'm going to throw a wrench into this bullshit conversation that we're having. Okay. Because so I was, so Kitty was streaming almost yeah. every day. Okay. And then all of a sudden Kitty kisses disappears for like three fucking days. That's right. I had not missed a day in, in over a so, year. So like every day when I'm doing the dishes, <laughs> I'm fucking his, like my phone is sitting on the, pr the windowsill and I'm watching kisses stream and I'm like, where the fuck is he? Oh, that's so right. one day. And I was like, where the fuck is he? Okay, whatever. Day two comes and he's not streaming. And I'm like, all right, this is a little fucking weird. So day three, yeah. I finally texted him and I was like, motherfucker, where are you? Tell me you're okay. And he's like, oh, kitty treats came to visit me. And we're having the most wonderful time. I guess Marcus I, called me about this. He yes, goes, yeah. And then he's like, yeah. Oh yeah. hundred percent. And he's like, I guess I should have told the community that I was taking a couple of days off. I was like, dude, everybody thinks you're fucking dead. Yeah, because I <laughs> suck at internet and phone. I'm yeah. terrible mm -hmm. at it. And he's like, okay. So the, and then he said it. He's like, he messaged me the next day and he's like, okay, anytime I'm gonna take more than two days off, I will make sure I let everybody know. Because <laughs> when he came back, everybody's like, Oh my god, you're alive. <laughs> like he disappeared off the face of this earth. And then all of a oh sudden, god. the next day after that you get like 700 pictures of them making goofy faces all over <laughs> Portland. And it was fucking hilarious. So yeah, it was pretty it was funny. Yeah. It was it really was awesome. funny. Yeah. So I had That's to throw a fantastic. wrench in that disappearing <laughs> act. He, he pulled a Houdini on his entire kitty kisses community. <laughs> well, actually, you know what, what happened is I didn't tell anybody and I streamed regular and mm -hmm. I said that there was a big secret. And then Kitty Treats came on the camera and I was like, here's the surprise. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> just stop streaming right there. I just, I popped on for <laughs> a little bit. That was it. <laughs> that's, that's a great clip. It was just yeah. like no warning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But either way, it, that's great. Um, but Treats, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite video game of all time? favorite video game of all time choose wisely choose wisely you can give you, us the top three echo okay. like a mount rushmore if you will i think i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do top three because right now all i'm playing is swotor and i fucking love it so mm -hmm. that right now is my favorite but if i had to pick you know a, a second i think for sure like i have to put world of warcraft in there because i played it for 12 years and it was fucking That's, bomb like i loved yeah. it like i was it wasn't, I don't know. It was just super fun. I loved all the content until the last three expansion packs. Eh. But like the ones before it were like my, it was just amazing. Like I loved every, every scrap of it, you know? And oh my gosh, those are top two. I don't know if I can come up with a third. Maybe if I had to pick one, maybe a console. Borderlands. You guys ever played Borderlands? Yeah. That oh, was yeah. another game that I was just fucking obsessed with. Like it was just, I don't know. That was a, that was a huge, huge game for me. The first one specifically, definitely. Are you uh, thinking about playing that new Tiny Tina game that's coming out? Probably not. I'm still stuck on Swotor. I usually just play that's one fair. game at a time. But if I, you know, if I was gonna play another game, yeah, I would probably try Borderlands. Yeah, I love it. Like uh, the art style is so awesome. I love, I love that about it too. 
So, yeah. Yeah, Borderlands is really cool. It was yeah, really fun. It was really cool. We have um someone who's worked on the Tiny Tina game coming up on the show. Oh, really? Ooh, Ooh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Quick sneak preview. Ooh. It's not announced yet, I don't think. Did we announce that anywhere? I don't think so. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's breaking news. I probably wasn't supposed to say that. Whoops. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, what do you well I kind of already know the answer to this uh, what are you playing on PC or consoles I I only really play on the PC I'm a big yeah. computer geek so I don't know I think it's just more comfortable I, get, I think so too and they I, yeah I think it's a little more customizable so that's why I like it yeah what, once yeah, you go PC I feel like you never go back mm-hmm, I agree I um I obviously I've I've been mm-hmm, trying mm-hmm. to pl- I was trying to play on my laptop for a long time and even when I got this I was like oh maybe sometimes I'll I'll use my PlayStation I'm like why don't you go PC you, I you know, know yeah, yeah exactly. I think so too I did play Borderlands for a long time on Xbox but yeah now if I were to play it I played on the PC of course <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. yeah yeah I couldn't play I, I, it on the Xbox much better was I? oh I was over um jo- friend of the show Joey Feta's house um. A, a while ago and Pooh tried playing Halo with a control, an Xbox controller on his PC because he plays with a controller on his PC mm-hmm. which oh, is like wow. sacrilegious but no it's not he, well for a first person shooter like okay maybe up, but like it seems some difficult. games I love a controller mm-hmm. yeah I don't know I haven't I hadn't used a controller in so long that like I was terrible I'm like man I, I don't know if I'll go back to that you know mm-hmm. I feel like at least for a shooter it's just so much better with a mouse yeah. I feel like I like couldn't hit anything you know yeah but Anywho, um, okay. So, so, oh, the biggest question. This is well. There's wait, two wait. I don't really want to ask this one yet. We got Our order is screwed up here. I, I know what I want to ask. <laughs> so this is. There's two really, really, really important questions. Right. They tell a lot about uh, who you are. And hey, everybody in podcast land, do you know that Nick just told me to shut the fuck up without saying shut the fuck up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my. But shut up. Oh Let my. me do this part. I'm fixing it. Um, okay, so this is important. Think for a second. You can give us a Mount Rushmore for this too, but try to think of your favorite favorite. There's usually only one. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Mm. Oh, man. I think, I, I mean, if I had my choice right now, I'd go mint chip. Mint chocolate chip? Oh, mint chip, yeah. yes. Hallelujah! Fucking delicious. I've always gone. Kitty kisses. Awesome. Is, what's yours? I forgot what you said. Mine's mint chip. What? Surprise. Is it really like brother oh, or like sister? That. Yeah, brother or sister. We, you know, it's in the family. <laughs> oh, oh, now I know what category of is your I've, favorite on Pornhub, <laughs> um, right? So I've always gotten mint chip. But now I want. So some. this this isn't a question. <laughs> um. So recently, Kitty Treats helped me get a couple new emotes. Yeah, yeah. And it helped me with new emotes too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So, and she's currently Thank working you, on my um my one animated emote. Uh huh. You know, I've been so busy, I haven't had time to just. Oh, did I see the sneak peek for that? I don't know. It's pretty five. funny. I thought it, it was yes. hilarious. I made that in like 15 minutes. I was laughing my ass off the whole time because yes. it's so I like, it. We'll it's perfect it, and it's ridiculous, and yeah. it's going to be amazing. Um, but you know, would you, would you ever do streams of you making emotes for people? Yeah. Cause I think that's super fascinating mm-hmm. to watch that process mm-hmm. happen. Yeah. Um, I was, I was in a call with Rune and Chimeri and we were talking and I was like, Oh, rip that guy. Chimera's like, dude, you need an emote that says that. And I was like, well, I would love one, but I'm not a fucking artist. And Rune's like, <laughs> what do you want it to be? And I was like, rip that guy she goes just those words i said yeah <laughs> and we're talking and she's like like this i'm like how the fuck did you do that so fast <laughs> and she's like what do you mean it's not done and then chimeri is like telling her and rune's like chimeri shut up i'm trying to make it perfect it was hilarious <laughs> but like funny. 25 minutes later i had an emo and that's probably one of my 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 marcus heart that treats made and my um Rip that guy are probably the two most used emotes now. Yeah, I yeah, that's awesome. That's it's, cool. It, Yay! Yeah, yeah, it's it's awesome. Um, that's fucking cool. So, well, hopefully you get back to your single streaming. I know. And I'm so there's a so when treats streams at Kitty's house, 
She streams late at night. <laughs> Kitty goes to bed at like 4.30 in the afternoon. Like we're like seven <laughs> hours past his bedtime right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, we are actually. Yeah, no, of course so, we are. So, and it happens every time. So by the time the end of the podcast comes, he's like, guys, I got to go to bed. See ya, click. But anyway, right. yeah. so she has a, she has a donation slash bit goal <laughs> and it's a lot of bits and I'm not going to call it out. Because one day I was like, she was streaming all by herself. And I was like, where's, where's kisses? And she's like, over there. And I was like, okay, go jump on top of him. How many bits? She's like, I don't know how many bits to wake him up. Cause he's going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, but how many bits? <laughs> so she came up with this number and it's a lot. It's I mean, a lot. it's way yeah. too much. Right. Way too much. That's but why. Cause I, I don't want anybody to do it. <laughs> right. But it's going to happen and it's going to be the most amazing experience ever because, (laughs) because to hear him go, "Ah, what the fuck? Love you, baby. And go go back to stream. He's going to be so busy. It's going to be amazing. I I sleep with a mask and earplugs and I am like, I am in a deprivation. So now, is it, yeah, and then if somebody touch you, is gonna yeah. like God. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Let me ask you this: Are you wearing the earplugs because all the noise around you, you like you're a light sleeper, or is it because you like it so quiet, like you want to hear your own thoughts? I have to hear my own breathing. Like I just like if I notice that I. So what happened is a long time ago, I was sleeping like shit. And I went and Googled everything about how to get better sleep, tried all the different remedies to try and get the best sleep I could, bought a new bed, the whole fucking thing. And I just found my, what worked Mm -hmm. for me. And it's earplugs and a face mask. With the TV on. With the TV on. (laughs) And the fan going. (laughs) What the fan I do? I have a fan right now. really funny, though. Into the mic, babe. (laughs) <laughs> he has the TV on like pretty loud, and he's he, he has earplugs. Me, he told me he had to have it loud because he has earplugs on. <laughs> oh my! What? Yeah. <laughs> we have entered the twilight zone. I know. So what I do? I know. This is what I do. Is I have I have one of the earplugs. <laughs> Because I sleep on my side. I have one of the earplugs kind of in there. And then oh the other God. one, you know, I'm sleeping on. And then once I get comfortable and I feel like I'm starting to doze off, I roll over on <laughs> to the other one and, and it gets sunk in there. And then I got a, I, there's a whole method to it. There's a whole system. It's science. It's science. It's, really funny. it's pretty it's more funny. like an art than science. <laughs> See, for me, I just like my kids because I have young kids, they have the sound machines. Mm-hmm. So now, like, I'm addicted to it. And <gasps> they just and they just got oh. me the sound, the sound machine Ooh. that's controlled by an app. Oh, and, cool. But I realized that if I'm drunk, I can't listen to running water because I wake oh. up and just stand it up and pee on the walls. <laughs> That's what I would do. Oh, time out, time out, time out. That runs in our family. Yes, of course. That. Yes, I do. But, My dad. Yeah, yeah. that's just. I, well, I can do the sidebar now. So I. <laughs> it in college in college, uh, as one tends to do, you drink a little more excessively than you might some other times in your life, and on more than one occasion, by more than one twice. Um, I got excessively drunk, <laughs> safely made it back to my room, and I had uh, a quad. So there's four roommates at the time, and apparently I got up, and I don't remember any of this. It was like, I don't know, maybe two hours after I'd fallen asleep after being like blackout drunk, and uh, started peeing into my laundry basket. Nice. <laughs> if I don't remember any of it. I like woke up walked around they were like nick no you can't i start. i tried to pee in one of my roommates like tiny little um trash can that's like no bigger than like a basketball or a volleyball size <laughs> oh my god that was never gonna work and but like you know it, i was like sleepwalking so right. my point of yeah. story is I, the the steps to make a a, a bernadakis or uh bouchard clan met person sleepwalk is be wicked drunk fall asleep and get woken up by the urge to pee and you'll sleepwalk. <laughs> oh my God. 
So like my dad, apparently my dad did that and peed out a window when he was younger. <laughs> I have done it to multiple laundry baskets and trash. Oh cans. my! Mine was always I stand up from the bed and just piss on the carpet. Right. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but it, like I, I never sleepwalk. Otherwise, I never that never happens any other time, and it's the not trifecta. like I'm. Yeah, it's That's not like funny. I'm. And not like I'm just drunk, like I'm sleepwalking. Because like, if you're blackout drunk, like yes, you can be so bad where you're not you're not logical, but like you can get redirected to. <laughs> there's a certain behavior set, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And like someone who's sleepwalking is a different behavior set. You know what I mean? Like you can be a drunk person can be shuffled to the bathroom. A sleepwalking person will like fight you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So they're like, fuck it. Like, I'm just no, gonna let this him. is the toilet. <laughs> yeah. uh, um. But anywho, back to the bridge. <laughs> Treats. Uh, yes. What are your goals for streaming and your art and all that stuff? Like, what are some goals you have for that moving forward? Oh well, I mean, I like I like the community aspect of it. So I've always wanted to build a community that can, I can kind of like get hyped with about the game or the art or whatever I'm doing. So building a community, reinforcing Kitty's community. You know, I really love helping him with his stream and doing you know some management type stuff there. That's really fun. I love that. But um, goals for my own, I just really want to be able to draw stuff that doesn't exist. You know, some fun characters and things like that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. Some, make some NFTs? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's where the money's at right now. Shit. But I don't know about yeah. that. But I don't know. I just like to create, even if it doesn't really have a purpose i guess just like kind of creating alongside the community what they want to see what i want to see that kind of stuff uh if it that's why i like doing the emotes is because you know it's like you're excited like you know one of your emotes you like want this thing with the pink shorts or whatever what the fuck ever like that fun stuff i think it's hilarious <laughs> i wore I those pink fucking it. short shorts for 17 fucking right. hours like yeah. it's hilarious that whole stream the entire stream it's my fucking nuts hilarious my nuts Joe, hurt so bad Joe because they were like oh, sandwiched no. inside those pink short shorts. Like I think I did the truffle shuffle like seven times in the pink short shorts. <laughs> did anybody <laughs> clip it? I'm sure. I'm sure. Good. Yeah. I'm going to go check. Jinx. I'm probably to check. But anyways, yeah, that's, I don't know. Just kind of the community part is, is my goal. I mean, I have a full-time job, good job. I don't really, I don't really go for like the career aspect of it. It's just like more for the fun yeah. community aspect of it. I'm with you there. Mm -hmm. you know watching a community grow like nick and i started this podcast however four years ago and yeah. then one day i was like <laughs> the same way with the podcast started hey i think i'm gonna start streaming fucking do it actually yeah. I think right. nick said well, about fucking time Yo. and yeah, you know I and it I was just like dude why are you not doing that right and it mm -hmm. started off and like we were like let's start a discord and we started to do it and like the community is amazing like yeah. the amount of people mm -hmm. that show up and like there will be it like I'll be busy at work and I'll show up and like every channel in this in the discord has been has notifications has notifications yeah. like what the fuck just happened or random people join the discord and I get so excited like anytime somebody joins the discord mm -hmm. my tail's like wagging <laughs> and I don't yeah. have a tail you know what I mean I'm like ooh new person yeah. and yeah. it's it's amazing to watch that happen mm -hmm. and then getting Nick to stream his one night a week and it's like Monday nights or Nick's night. You know what I mean? Like I mm -hmm. watch three streamers on Monday, Nick Kogus and Chimeri and it's fucking great. And I, it, the community makes everything so awesome. It does. It does. It's so much fun. I laugh so hard with these people, you know, that it's my favorite thing to do is laugh and be silly and have fun. Yeah. And that's most of what I want the stream for is just to have fun and laugh. And <laughs> yeah. Kitty and I do tons of that. Oh, like. <laughs> man. So can I ask a favor? What's that? Your next n stream, solo stream. Uh-huh. Let's do, I'll get in a Discord and we'll do the animated emote live. Okay. Fuck yeah. Let's that do it. Great. That'd be fun. And Done. like, yeah. in, you know, in, you know, we'll, and like also to, like we should, we should get like a page so like we can start promoting you as like the emote person because I don't know if I want it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't want to do oh. more work. I want to do. I just want to do. Want to at your amount. own pace. Yeah, at my yeah. own pace, selective. That's, just uh, we you can know. always totally say no. I, yeah. I like 
Uh, that's my thoughts on my per diem job working mm-hmm. in the emergency department. I used to work there full time. Yeah. And you get definitely get burnt oh, out, geez, especially you know, yeah. in the pandemic. But it's nice to like, but they're super short staff now. So they offer lots of like bonus money if you pick up mm-hmm. a ship. So I'm like, it's nice to like, so, like no, like you only have to go into the chaos for like at when you want, like the exactly. little four hour, eight yeah. hour chunks. Right. It's like, you know, you're not like obligated and mm-hmm. that's when you feel like terrible about it. Right. Right. But so I can get that, especially if it's something you care, like you're passionate about or like you like, if you're like being forced to do it because mm-hmm. you're the person, you know what I mean? That's like a job. Then it, right. It's, it, it ruins changes it, it. It does change. It does. It. Like I like, yeah. I like to do, I like to draw. I like to make the emotes, but I kind of like to make the ones that are kind of funny and uh, that are right. like, that are fun and make me laugh while I'm doing it. And just like right. with, with the, com- you know, community people that friends and stuff, it's, it's kind of yeah. selective, but I do, I do, well, I do plan on doing them. It's just, I want to be selective about it. Of course. Well, and you want to make sure, you know, like me, like mm-hmm. I remember when we were working on the other ones, you were like, Hey, I'm working out. I'm like, I am in no fucking rush. Yeah. Cause like, I like, because I, it's my own yeah. job. Like mm-hmm. you know how many of my friends ask me to build stuff for them. And I'm like, look at, I can build you. Like I've had to build <laughs> yeah. Nick a shelf for his PC mm-hmm. for like for three like, months. He yeah. knows he's going to get it. But like when I can get there, it's like, right. I'm not here to bust balls. Yeah. Like, yeah. I get right. it. We're all fucking busy. And like, no I shit. look at yeah like Twitch or like art for you or, or, or whatever mm-hmm. is a hobby. Like we have yeah. our career and like, I want to enjoy the, my fucking kids. Yeah. As much as I, I can. Yeah. I really do like using the art skill though, to create fun things like that yeah. for like you guys. I think it's really fun. So yeah. Getting, being able to do that is awesome. It's just yeah. like, that's why I'm selective about it. So that every time yeah. I do it, it's like super fun. Right. Um, it makes perfect sense. It's, uh, it's <laughs> fucking great. All right. So, gonna, is Nick, it my can I do this one and then you do the big, big, big one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite stream moment from the dual streams? Oh, that is a, that's a that's a big one. I think. Uh, let's see. Yes. Well, I know that I love, and I think I think Kitty should answer this one too. I want to know what his. Oh favorite yeah. Well, no, we're, no, he he's yeah, going to okay. be on the fucking hot seat too. Oh, I good. don't no. you worry. Good. Because I think like you can't say the same thing. No, which we probably would because we're terrible <laughs> about that. But like I love when we laugh our asses off. Yeah. And I actually get when I watch because I just recently made a new um, compilation of our clips mm-hmm. from the dual mm-hmm. streams. It was a fucking blast making that like because I was laughing at myself, <laughs> laughing at him. <laughs> And I think my favorite is when he discovers something gross on his pants. <laughs> and he goes, this is, this. <laughs> okay, okay. This is what he says. He goes, like, if you watch him in the clip, because I yeah, clipped yeah. it and you can see him, he goes like this. Like, he licks his finger oh, twice no. and looks down at his pants and he's rubbing it, right? Because he sees something on his pants. Yeah. And I'm over there just minding my own business gaming or whatever. And he goes, oh, I just found something on my pants and you're really going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason, the reason why he says that is because like we never go anywhere hardly. You know, yeah. we went to this, what was it? The Adidas store. Yeah, we went to the and- Adidas store. And everybody knows Kitty always wears black pants, right? Okay. Well, those yeah. pants are also his napkins because whenever he eats, he yes. he wipes his He's hands. He's a fucking dude. Yeah, right. I do so that all the time. Dudes do. I wipe my hands on my shoulders for some reason, but anyway, I he wipes his hands on his on the ass of his pants and down his legs. And we were in line at this Adidas store, and he had these big white swipes down his ass, <laughs> and I just. He walked in front of me and I just fucking lost it. I was laughing and like he, I was laughing and looking at his butt and laughing and he's like, what, what? And then like, I said, you've got shit all over your pants. And we're like at this place. It's kind of, you know, these Public upscale and, people yeah. around us. And like, he does one of those turns and looks at his butt, you know, like he <laughs> turns around like in front of all these people. And then I just started laughing even more. Like, so him saying that on stream, oh, and you're really going to like it is because of that. <laughs> <laughs> so then he gets up and he comes over there to show me on the stream and I'm like what the fuck's on your pants and he shows me and he's like I think it's super sauce and that's like this <laughs> 
It's the stuff that we eat that he makes. Yeah. It's fucking delicious, by the way. But that is my favorite. And that is in that compilation. It is fucking hilarious. I la- I had to get up from my seat because I was laughing so hard. And I was like crying, laughing. It was great. That's my favorite. I love that. <laughs> That's a great answer. All right, Kitty Kisses. Wait, before we go on, though, oh. what is super sauce? Is it soup or is it Kitty? sauce? It's, it's it... basically like a really, it's a dipping sauce. It's basically okay. like a thousand island, but I make it for super. It's yeah, it's got a lot of shit in it and it's, it's so delicious. fucking good. We eat really a lot awesome. of it. Yeah. So we dip everything in it. <laughs> and the sauce gets on my pants. And I don't got realize it. it until later. And then I have to show <laughs> her that my dumb ass spilled a bunch of super sauce on my crotch. I didn't, didn't know <laughs> it until got, two days later, and <laughs> it was like in the middle of streaming. It was like you know three inches in diameter. Is it was what big. I'm saying. Like oh, a big old a good ball. one. Yeah, it was just like, and it was you know it totally solidified, so you could it was basically crusty. yeah, it was gross. Yeah, that's super, super cool, um, super yeah. fun and oh, funny. I, I don't I know love. what my favorite. I can't think of one specific thing. It's just. Okay, this I think this is I this is one of them. So we do this thing on the stream where we fuck with each other <laughs> by going uh like let's say what was I was making a remark about uh I forgot what it is. It was a very uh oh uh, uh Danny Treyu. Oh okay. I was talking about Danny Treyu and and Kitty's like, who? And I go, yeah, it's Danny Treyu. And she goes, I, what? And I go, Danny Treyu. You know, he's famous. She's like, I, who? And I go, Danny, you fuck you. Because <laughs> she totally got me. And everybody in the chat knew she had me. And she yeah. strung me along and got me to, you know, like, get really serious <laughs> about it. <laughs> and I just like oh, my my kids, machete. I just knew I got got and I, it was really, really funny. And really, really that's funny. Cut, he's gotten me too. And then oh, I'm yeah. like, oh fuck it. And we laugh. We just yeah. fucking laugh about it. It's so great. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's really funny. I think even people in the chat when that happened were like, She's fucking with you. She's fucking they're trying to rat me out. Some uh-huh. of them were. I yeah. think tsunami. <laughs> tsunami. <laughs> he's, the one. He's, yeah. he's hilarious. He's, he's great. Fucking, he's the he won. Uh, 2020. What year is it? Is it 2020? Oh, he Two. was 2021's top troll. Yeah, he won that moniker for the stream. He's he's really really funny. He's he's great. Yeah. Um. That. So for me, I'm just saying, my favorite dual stream moment is when uh, treats had us all write something. Or make videos or audio oh, yeah. clips. And to see Kisses get mm-hmm. uncomfortable on stream because he's always goofy. But like mm-hmm. hearing people say nice things about him, he like you saw him like melting in the chair. Shriveled up. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Like he was turtling. Yeah. And he's like, he was. Yeah. And to see that pure emotion of happiness towards treats because she did something so nice yeah, it was so and then sweet. at the same time like actually hearing his community with words or video or whatever say it, like our feelings towards you that you're awesome blah 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 it's it's overwhelming and it was so organic and magical mm. to see that that was my favorite dual stream moment yay that i'm was glad good. you like yeah it. i do not like <laughs> I do not like Compliments. that. Yeah, I and I joked with him that that's why I stood beside him because I didn't want him to get up and leave. <laughs> yeah, because I would have got up. <laughs> nah, I would have let him. I told him he had to watch the whole thing. Yeah, right. He was but like, it was it's just really such long. a sweet thing to do. And being single for so long, you know, and having somebody do something so nice for me just kind of like it was very yeah. Put you over the edge. Yeah, it's just yeah. like wow. Holy, I had a. I loved shit. doing it too. It was amazing. It was great. Yeah. All right. The most important question. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Well, mostly kitty treats, of course. All right. This is another make or break question. <laughs> Who 
is your favorite Star Wars character in all of Star Wars? That's pretty easy for me, actually. It's Obi Wan. Oh, good. Most of the time, it Obi-Wan. is easy. Obi Wan. Mm-hmm. Wow. Obi Wan Kenobi. Yep. Why? He's always been my favorite because I feel like Obi Wan is a he. I don't know his motivations. I've I've loved in in Clone Wars where, you know, he's he had the opportunity to be in a relationship, but he decided like he said, you know, I'll give this up for you. I would have given this up for you, but they both decided that they had to come rise above that and go, you know, live the life of the force, be married to the force or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I just really love that. But I also, I start, I thought he was really amazing in the original, you know, trilogy. I thought he was like, he was always my favorite, even as a kid. Like I thought, now that's somebody that I feel like would take care of you. Like if you were around them. Yeah. Like that's the way I felt about him. Like he would take if I met him as a kid, like back when, when I first watched Star Wars, I think he would take care of me. I'd be safe with, with that man. That's what I felt like. So I've always thought he was like in every everything he's my favorite. As awesome. in like all of the movies, Clone Wars especially. Is 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 he like the model for a Jedi guardian? Yes. Mm-hmm. That kind of makes sense. You get the same mm-hmm. vibe, like like Guardian, yeah, yeah is, vibe. Yeah. I totally understand yeah. that. I love that safe feeling that he has. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Awesome. He's like really, really badass at fighting, but also good in the force. He yes. has like a really benevolent, um, like source of like positivity and good. Mm-hmm. And he's know? also he's not just sincere. S- yes, yeah, sincere. sincere yeah. yeah, but he's not just all serious all the time. He can still right. crack a joke and be fun. But he's right. You know, he's got that security about him. Absolutely. So you're really looking forward to May 25th. Oh then, right? my God! Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yep. yep I'm yep, so yep, jazzed yep, yep. about that. Oh my God! Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, <laughs> treats. Uh, tell everybody where they can find oh, you. Wait, wait a minute. Time out. Whoa. Two things. I want a quick recap of what Katie Kisses' his favorite Star Wars character. Oh, is. sorry, Nick. I'm used to once they do it, that it's done. Go ahead. Well, we got multiple guests here. Go ahead, Nick. Uh, surprise, mine's so, Obi Wan. I knew that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that. Obi Wan. As, as I'm defending my spiel, I'm like, I think it's Obi Wan yeah. too. Obi Wan, yeah. and then followed by Ahsoka, and then Ventress. Yeah, got it. Mine would be Maul and Ventress. I think. Hmm. Good choices, mm-hmm. Marcus. What's yours again? R two D two. Oh yeah, I knew that. I remember. Yeah, you talking about I that always before. it made me look at R two D two a little different after yeah. Marcus said that. I'm like, he's, yeah, mm-hmm. he is he's always, always there. there. He, he always he'll help always him. sacrifice whatever he needs to do. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. solid, and he is solid. Awesome. Yeah, mine's complicated. I don't know if you know mine already. Oh, I know I yours. Know. What, is, what is that? <clears throat> mine is actually not a character from. Uh, sort of the main line or at least you don't get the details about him mine is darth bane yeah hmm. he's canon so you don't he's canon yeah. yes i don't know if that story is specifically is canon but there's a trilogy of books from when it was uh that's now star wars legends that you should go read or listen to but darth bane is the a sith uh between the old republic and you know new republic or high republic that at first initiated the rule of two oh. so he went he's the one that went from all of the Sith with the infighting and the bickering. He I said, am Screw all that. the Sith. I'm mm-hmm. killing everybody. And then he also meant uh, my favorite part of that series that like leads into things. Um, he's just like an incredibly badass character that like they explains in the bo- in the books and stuff. But he's like a classic Sith like juggernaut archetype. He gets these mm-hmm. crazy things on him. I forget what they're called now. Orbalisks. Uh, Orbalisks. That like oh. they're these crab creatures that grow that like feed dark side into them. Wow. But they're also parasitic. So like they give you extra power and they they're like lightsaber proof armor also. So as they grow bigger, they take up more and more of your body. But it's also this like crustacean suit of dark side power. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah. yeah and then he, really cool. he ends up he ends up becoming problematic because it's like mm-hmm. it takes over him. Anyways, uh, that's awesome. And at the end of things, he takes an apprentice, of course, because the rule of two. And it's they leave the book as ambiguous as to whether or not he he learns his power of, of essence transfer. 
so that he could transfer his soul and force being essentially into someone else. And mm-hmm. it leaves it ambiguous as to whether or not he did that when his apprentice tries oh, to kill him. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Cool. So it, that coupled with, I mean, that was my, he was my favorite character just from all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But then Palpatine goes, I am all the Sith, you know, mm-hmm. in Rise, uh, the last movie there. And it, you could, it could be that, Every single Sith right. was really just Darth Bane this whole time, right. oh, passing fuck, him stuff cool. along. And the cool part is he's now canon, and the base for uh, holocrons when you buy them at Galaxy's Edge, and there's no Kyber crystal in there, is Darth Bane talking about how he's all the Sith. Ooh, it's cool. Which is cool. That is fucking cool. cool. <laughs> so that's my favorite favorite character. I'm a I'm a dark side of the Force nice. person. But anywho, take two n- treats. Where can everybody find you? Ah, uh-huh. take two. Yes, uh, I am at Kitty Treats on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. How do you spell it? K i t t y t r e e t s. And Kitty Kisses, how can everybody find you? You can find me mostly. Find me on <laughs> Twitch TV slash Kitty Kisses mostly. And just Mm -hmm. Google Kitty Kisses with a Z at the end. K-I-T-T-Y-K-I-S-S-Z. And I will be there. Excellent. Thanks for coming on the show. This was awesome. This was a lot of fun. What are you guys talking about in here? Find out next episode of Working Working Class Class Nerds. Nerds.